young ladies and Gentiles, monkeys and reptiles, boys and girls of the appropriate ages, to Gamma World, the melody of mayhem. I hope you guys enjoyed our little intro piece there. I had a great time making it. But first, before we get into anything crazy, let's talk about some crazy for just a second. Because if you know, then you know that I have to give a shout out to our sponsor. So ladies and gentlemen, whether you're exploring dank dungeons, negotiating with mythical creatures, or casting spells that reshape reality, trust Skull Splitter Dice to be your steadfast companion. They're more than just dice. They're artifacts that bridge the gap between imagination and reality. Level up your gaming experience today with Skull Splitter Dice. Unleash the power of metal and embrace the journey that awaits you. Visit SkullsplitterDice.com now to explore their stunning collection. And be sure to use Featherfall TT as your promotional code to get an amazing discount on those dice. And of course, you are welcome to send me a set if you would like. I accept bride uh, presents from all of my players and friends. But that out of the way, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, 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 welcome to all my lovely players. Say hi, guys. Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> I believe we've had a, a slight introduction uh, through the, the intro piece there to save a little bit of time, but that really doesn't fill out the whole picture, does it? Not at all. So <laughs> I don't need a drug test chance. Damn it. <laughs> Shh. That's a secret. So I'm going to go uh, in the order I have on my screen. We're going to top, top left and go around the world. Krim, tell us a tiny little bit about Jackie. Oh, Jackie is a tech guru, uh, more specifically, uh, we're, we're talking like retro kind of tech of like the old Commodore and just like that 50s, like, well, how do I describe this? It's like Fallout kind of kind of deal. I like Fallout it. Fallout tech, you know, based off of the Gamma Worlds. A um, little bit of her appearance, red redheaded, freckled, pure-blooded human, got nothing going on as far as mutations go, but that just means she's got a whole lot more to offer as far as tech goes, and uh, not a whole lot to offer as far as willpower goes, apparently. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I guess you'll know more about her when I start playing her, because honestly being put on the spot like this makes me forget everything about my character. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfectly alright, perfectly alright. <laughs> That's all right. We want we want a little guesswork in there. We've got to keep a little bit of the mystery. <laughs> so uh, next up, we've got Typo. Tell us about Zach. Hi there. I'm dead. It's <laughs> a good story. <laughs> Zach is... Well, he's not entirely wrong about that. You see, once upon a time, Zach was Jackie's... One of her best friends. Her best friend, if you ask him, hands down, no, no one else was even equal. But uh, <laughs> then he died. Um, fortunately for Zach, the, he died in some ancient goodness forsaken ruin, and there happened to be a fungus that ate him. <laughs> this fungus connected to his uh motor cortex and his brain and several days later jack came back to jack i mean zach came back to to jack my bad <laughs> that was, <laughs> almost that had was a good little bad. thing going <laughs> uh shambling in his corp his corpse body uh he begged for help in confusion and terror, and after some complications and some difficult and tough times, 
they eventually found him a new body, which is that of this large, shambling robot. He stands about mm, maybe eight to nine feet tall, tendrils of some kind of fungal growth weaving their way through the rusted carcass of some ancient lumbering machine draped in vines and covered with overgrowth. Uh, his He's got like one flickering red eye that's like half cracked <laughs> and he speaks out through this robot in a sort of vaguely mechanical voice that still rings with some faint trace of his own. As for who he is, he's the kind of person to get himself killed in the apocalypse. Uh, he's a bit of a knucklehead. Heart uh, of gold, though. Might yeah, be my, half of Jackie's backstory <laughs> is with him, so... That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Beautiful. All right, Flesh. <laughs> Tell us about Azu. So, Azu was born a mutant. Uh, he's he's a little bit on the buggy side of things. Um, spend a lot of time kind of alone in the wilderness, um, and he he still finds solace there. But he, you know, he's he's out for a good adventure, a good time. Um, you know, feels like it's his duty to kind of keep people safe, um, even at his own expense if necessary. Um, and he's. He's quite mutated, as it were. He is. Uh, th there is no mistaking <laughs> this thing for a pure strain human. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. <clears throat> All right, Z, fill us in about Pan. Pan was born a mutated speaking tiger, uh, with fingers on his front paws, an extra eye on his tail, in a laboratory that's managed by other mutated animals. Um, Early on, I found it easier to work as a scout, going out there with a backpack on his back. And that backpack has a typewriter, because he types up some reports to send back to the um, the, the mother lab, if you will. <laughs> I love it. That's brilliant. And of course, I'm Church, your game master for the evening. I'll be playing everyone else, <laughs> including, ladies and gentlemen, you saw him in the credits, Rusty. The robotic dog and Jackie's ever faithful companion. Rusty doesn't speak, but he does bark. And when I say bark, he literally says the word bark, bark, bark. <laughs> because that's just what Jackie thought dogs sounded like. That's what the word in the book said. <laughs> so that being said... <laughs> that being said, we're going to dive right in, ladies and gentlemen... If you're ready, I will paint the scene. <laughs> and the scene is this. You guys have been working your way through the Midwest, the ruins of this ancient land, flat and dreary, filled with dry dust that comes up in storms, a severe lack of foliage and trees, and very sparse settlements. Most of this area was obliterated a long time ago, and... Without spoiling anything, I'll say that you each have your own reasons to be here, and each of you have your own reasons to be together. That said, you've been making your way for some time across the vast wasteland before you. Various adventures, various encounters, various strange and weird and wonderful and uncanny tales have come across your path the entire way, but nothing quite so strange as what's about to happen. <laughs> you crest a small rise, very small. We're talking about the Midwest. There aren't very many of those. But you crest a small rise, the overcast sky beyond you, just as evening is falling. And along the dusty road, the cracked asphalt and the smell of strange things blowing on the breeze, in the distance you see a small, lone, almost humanoid figure walking the same direction as you are, pacing even, looking outward to the west at what appears to be a very small settlement. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> so are you guys going to carry on? 
move up there? I mean, okay. yeah, I don't see a reason why not, unless there's something in her way. <laughs> there is a, no, I, I, you're good. You're good. <laughs> so, as you move closer, you see the figure is what appears to be a, dropping socks, what appears to be. Wow, there's a sock in the way. <laughs> 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 Don't look too close. It appears to be what what seems cool. to be a, a large rodent humanoid wearing a, a military jacket, like a flat jacket. And there's birds flittering all around him. Which, of course, as you approach, the birds look at you, noticing you, especially you, Pan, and scatter. Oh, no, okay. <laughs> now, the small creature, he's, he's maybe five foot nothing. He immediately kind of cringes down and sniffs the air and looks around as you approach. And uh, looks around, he notices that there's really nothing for him to hide behind. and So he kind of stands up, adjusts his jacket, says, Ah, I was uh, just doing the, uh, the, the thing, you know, the thing. Just, uh, I'm not looking for any trouble. The thing? What the thing are you doing? The, oh, God. Uh, not being food. You know what, Valid? Um, well, you know, we didn't really think you were causing trouble until you, you said you weren't causing trouble. Food rarely talks. Hmm. Uh, okay, well. I like that. Are you... Are you here for... No, you couldn't be. You couldn't be. Look, evening's falling. You, you, you seem like a nice... He kind of looks over at Pan and up and down nervously. Swallows. Mm. He's fine. <laughs> you seem like a nice group of individuals. Why don't you let me put forth the, the, the feather of friendship and I, I will make us some dinner. Would you like that so you don't think I look tasty? I give him a good sniff. What, what does he have in that backpack for food? <laughs> uh, it's hard to tell. You get the, the distinct scent of aluminum. <laughs> <laughs> the distinct scent of aluminum. <laughs> Jack just kind of looks at Pan. Pan, you're not going to go into his bag and try and take whatever he has. <laughs> I need to eat a lot. I'm very large. I'm a large I cat. Know. I know. <laughs> I mean, I don't see a re reason why not. She kind of like looks at the rest of her group. Uh, I could go for a snack. <laughs> I could eat. Okay. She doesn't really look at Zach because Zach's a robot. <laughs> <laughs> Zach looms over the party with his mechanical body. He's kind of like a single, like, he turns his head to look at her. <laughs> I could go for some food. <laughs> <laughs> if we can figure out a way to get it into the mouth that does not exist, yes. <laughs> fair. Fair. So, I'm going to do a switcheroo. Presto. Changeo. <laughs> Magic! Alright, so, um, he immediately kind of takes a deep breath. He's, oh, good, good, good. And goes about kind of putting some sticks together in a nice little pile and takes out a little flint and steel and starts sparking it and getting the fire going. Um, takes out a couple cans of what seem to be aluminum. They're a little dinged up and rusty. The labels are long gone. No telling what's in them. But they're Mystery canned. meat or <laughs> vegetables or fruit. Mystery food. It's the best kind. Mystery what's your name, Rodent? He says... Uh, Elon. Elon G. Muskrat. And I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. He sticks out his little rodent hand. I shake it with my actual hand. Oh, you, a you, man. you've got fingers. How Only odd. ten of them. <laughs> He's got ten of them. <laughs> so with, with that, Elon, you notice 
as he's he's cooking his fire, these little birds will come and flit down onto his shoulder every now and then and kind of chirp in his ear and he'll nod and be like, yeah, 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 okay, thank you. And he'll send it on its way. What are the birds telling you? I, oh, you, you must be talking about my Twitters. My Twitters are part of my communication network that I, I use to keep an eye on things and keep tabs on things and spread news and get news from all over the place. I'm quite the celebrity. I'm a entrepreneur. I hate you. <laughs> I don't know why, but for some reason, I think I hate that. <laughs> Jack it just kind of like nods and goes, uh-huh, so they just come by and give you news whenever you need it? Yeah. Like just some short tweets? Yes. My my short Twitters tweets. are very, very accurate. They tell me all kinds of things. In fact, in fact, oh, goodness, in fact, come, come, come sit. And he motions you all to come around the fire and starts pouring some brown slop out of these cans into a little cook pot and cooking it up. <laughs> Is it expired chocolate milk? <laughs> Why do I feel like this is dog food? <laughs> it, uh, it's it's food food. <laughs> the best. Jackie oh, sits. <laughs> so he. What he, are you too good for dog food? <laughs> yeah, I hate you too. No, I'm joking. <laughs> so he he says to you uh so my my twitters tell me that the, there's a little town not far from here a little settlement just down that way and he points out to the west he says it's it's called mayberry and at one time there was a bunch of people and, and mutants that lived there in relative harmony it wasn't that bad my twitters told me that it was it was actually pretty friendly to, to my kind and some of your kinds as well and and the strangest thing happened. All of a sudden, this broadcast started coming out, and people started acting weird. It was like their minds were just kind of glue melting out of their ears, and they started doing whatever the voice on the broadcast told them. Jackie yeah, just kind of holds up her hand. She goes, you don't mean literally, do you? Because I could equally believe if it was literally. <laughs> uh, the broadcast or the glue? The glue. Oh, you know, falling no. Falling out of your ears? No, right. that's that's what us entrepreneurs like to call creative wording. I'm just making sure you never know. <laughs> but What's an entrepreneur? Entrepreneur is somebody who's very powerful and and Ooh. holds the the pulse of of the the entire land in his hand. That's that's an entrepreneur, and I am that because I have the Twitters, and the Twitters are very powerful in the right hands because I can understand them. Zach, but Zach leans forward and places a finger against the man's chest to push him down to the ground. You you're talking about Elon? Yeah, I was like, kind of like push him down, like press him against the ground a little bit. <laughs> it was like kind of hold him there. No, not hurting him, just kind of like... <laughs> See like, if he's powerful enough to rise up from the finger. Uh, you know he'll he'll. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Zach, Zach, get your finger off of his chest. Stop, stop pushing people. But he's supposed to be powerful. Not that kind he of meant, powerful. <laughs> he meant in a mental kind of way, not so much physical, darling. Oh, so you're psychic. Uh, okay. Well, I get it. I, I mean, I. Look, he, talk, he talks to birds. He gets up and straightens his little flak jacket and brushes himself off again. Look, look. My my point is, whatever's going down in in Mayberry. It's not natural. It's not right. But I don't care about that because, like I said, I'm an entrepreneur, and entrepreneurs take advantage of very little nook and crannity of hope and and and. A abstract uh, uh, things because I like rich money I money I like to yes anyway 
The, the hand starts reaching back out towards him, and then, like, as it starts to get worse and more descriptive, it starts slowly curling into a fist above his head. He doesn't appear like, to notice. He glances Yaki back to the now, party, like, like, reaching up, trying to, like, get his hand back down. <laughs> Pan just puts down his typewriter and starts typing. Yeah. <laughs> click, 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 it's all click, very click. interesting. I just wanted to play rock, paper, scissors here. <laughs> yeah, was it the rock, paper, scissors that I taught you or the one that you thought it was rock, paper, scissors before I taught you the right one? <laughs> it, I almost I, got I'll my tail tell you that it was going to be rock. It was going to be rock very hard. <laughs> Zach, you always play rock. L look, I, <laughs> I, I, I don't want to know about how rock, rock hard that the robot is or anything that's neither here nor there i'm trying to tell you that down there in mayberry is a treasure i know you're trying to tell us that because you want us to find you the treasure well i mean it feels like you'd get more treasure if you found it yourself without I, telling us i i think that we could cooperatively work on this little problem because look there, there's only so many individuals down there now and the ones that keep going in and never coming out again, everything they're carrying is getting put down there. Down there. In that one big building. They're keeping it all there. Because, I, I don't know, they don't want it. But they can't get rid of it. And it's just loads of, of stuff. I mean, there's, there's money and, and food and artifacts. I, I'm sure I, I saw some humans go down there, and one of them had a gun. And I know that's got to be down there, because humans are... She looks over at Jackie. Smart. <laughs> <laughs> she kind of yeah. just like... She's kind of like... Eh. Some of them are also hypocrites, too. Go on. <laughs> so so look, I, I my, my Twitters are, are great for information. And, and I can get around in some small places. But I tried going down there. And, well, the the, the arcs the, the the arcs chased me out, and, and so I, I I can't go down there and do this, but maybe you could, and if you did, you could come back and just give me a finder's fee, and maybe tell the world about Elon and his twitters, and I could just expand my influence, and we could call that even. I gave you this great information. You help Elon out. What do you say? Hmm. Do you have any more like information? That. It feels like you told us everything already. Well, I, yeah, I mean, I've got loads of information. The Twitter's tell me everything. I, I, I can say that my Twitter's can't go anywhere near it. The, the broadcast just... I don't know. They they can't stand up to it. I've lost a bunch of Twitters in there. So you don't really know anything about what's going on down there in Mayberry. Well, it's nothing you guys can't handle, I'm sure. <clears throat> so what happens if we go down there and hear the broadcast? Uh, well, I mean, you're smart. It's not going to affect you guys. And almost as if on cue Rusty's intercom his little speaker box just kind of sizzles with white noise and static and clicks a few times and then this tinny voice begins to come through and you guys may want to have your sounds turned on just in case it's not mandatory but it'll give you the full effect <laughs> okay Okay, This is your enchanting host, Madam Decibel, ready to electrify your senses with the finest tunes from a bygone era. <laughs> and with that, music begins to play from Rusty's speaker. Jackie just kind of goes, is this the broadcast? <laughs> yeah, Elon goes, oh no. Wait, I'm still here. 
Okay. Our, mi our mind did not become glue. Tonight, my radiant listeners, we embark on a journey through a sonic wonderland. Prepare to be spellbound and hold on to your brain stems because this next one is going to blow your mind. So what do you say? It, it hasn't affected you. You're good. You're good. You can you can withstand it. You can resist her her influence. We could do this. She's kind of like leaning forward, like with her elbow on her feet, on her, on her knee, and her hand just kind of like brushing against the bottom of her lip and going. Now I wonder why everyone else is being affected by this and not us. Cause you're smart. No, that can't be it. People have different varying levels of intellect, despite that. So I don't know if that's it. Well, I'm sure we'll figure it out when we get there. So you'll do I it. I think it's because Rusty is a good boy and he wouldn't hurt us. You're right. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that's. Sure. I'll go with that. So what are you thinking it is, then, Azil? I mean, I don't I don't think there's anything to do with our intelligence. We, we've all met Sad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? Yeah. yeah. I, I, I'm like super smart. Yeah. Sure. Um, <laughs> he, he turns to Eli. He turns to Eli. He like has a. See, they agree. <laughs> <laughs> so as you guys are, Jackie. as you guys are talking, Elon starts spooning out bowls, and and like this mismatched kind of stolen dishware that he keeps in his pack, of this brown steaming slop, and hands it to each one of you. Is it good? Then we're in agreement. Tomorrow morning, first light, you guys will head out and I'll stay here with my Twitters and, and I'll monitor the area and make sure nobody comes in there and swoops in to take the treasure out from under you. I'm, I'm thankful I actually had a bowl nearby. <laughs> <laughs> Props. <All right. laughs> yeah, she's just kind of like looking at it. She goes, can you tell me what it is first? Is there uh, meat in there? I can only eat meat. Uh, uh, he kind of leans in and sniffs it. It's, well, I think one of them was yams, and the other was meat. It was meat. Yams and meat. Jack is like, I got the one with the meat. You can have this. <laughs> <laughs> if you got the yams, I'll take that one. <laughs> yams and meat. <laughs> so, uh, I imagine there's more banter, obviously, and, and you guys kind of go on around the campfire into the Let evening. And listening to Madame Decibel and her her uh, broadcast coming softly through Rusty's speaker, uh, the night passes uneventfully, thankfully, no craziness, and uh, morning comes. Elon kind of packs a little pouch of, of dripping brown goo and hands it to each of you to take a little lunch with you from little leftovers from last night. He's very excited. Very thankful. <laughs> Another problem. Awesome. Thanks. And yeah, remember what we talked about? Remember what we talked about. Make me sound terrifying and cool, but also really handsome. <laughs> I, I'll do it. I'll do it. Everyone in the in the in the in the Midwest will know. Uh, I need more tales from those twitters. I need to send that back to the motherland. <laughs> so with that, you guys set off uh, down the the dusty path with your goopy bags of food. <laughs> goopy bags. I would of say food. like quote unquote food. Food. <laughs> <laughs> It's totally For edible. Sure. I don't know I mean, about delicious, but it didn't make certain. me sick. <laughs> this is true. Iron, iron guts there. Sick. If you guys don't want to carry it, you can always just put on one of my coat hangers. <laughs> There's room in my back. <laughs> so I just eat mine immediately. <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> By Azu standards, it's a, it's a. It didn't come out of a trash can. Or did it come out of a trash can? It doesn't matter if it came out of a trash can. <laughs> so, 
you, you begin down this dusty path. And in the distance, you definitely see this very small settlement uh, up ahead. And as you're cruising along, you guys come across the side of Mayberry. The small settlement in the distance, clouds overcast overhead, the dust in the air kicking up that strange kind of yellowish hue that the entire Midwest has had through your entire journey. As terrible as that may sound, you're almost looking forward to getting up into the town of Mayberry. And you carry on further and further, the town looming, the little settlement looming ahead, until eventually dust and rock and scrub gives way to a very small settlement. Boom, boom. Well, what a quaint little town. Uh, you're right on the outskirts of it. Now, most of the buildings on the rail, the outskirts, are very just wrecked buildings for the most part. In the very quaint little town. Yeah. In the very center, as you look down this main street that you're starting to kind of come into, aside from the, the rubble and rust and, you know, rotted out cars, up ahead you see a section of the settlement that appears to be a little more maintained than the rest. Just a small gathering of buildings up ahead. Now, for you guys, this was a, uh, and I say this to you as players, what you're looking at up ahead is, is what looks to have been a, a repurposed, almost like a, an outdoor plaza type strip mall, kind of at the center of town. Um, you do see just kind of like a little main road that goes through it, buildings on either side, and some movement on the left side of the road uh, of the first of those main buildings as you're approaching. There appears to be a couple uh, critters up there moving around. Okay. Well, Tad would go would jump to go hide somewhere. So I'm gonna move you guys onto the map. Boom, boom, Ooh. boom, boom, boom. Actually zoom out here. Zach is crawling along on all fours at the moment. Uh, he it's his preferred form of locomotion, actually. <laughs> uh, he's he can stand bipedally, but like. He's got these really long mechanical arms. It's easier to just walk on all fours. Why bet bipedal when you can quad pedal, right? He's technically faster like that. He just, you know. Okay, it just works. Gonna can't make tangents as easily. So, up ahead, like I said, you do see some movement. The, the bottled up cars. On, on your left, a very large building. On your right, another very large building as you're moving. Um, as you kind of come into view here. Do, 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 you see these two creatures that are called arcs up ahead, standing in front of this building here. Now, those of you who can read see the remnants of a of a sign across the top of this building that says okay. El Templo del Sabor. Oh. Well, I can read. <laughs> it looks like a temple of some kind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. El, Maybe like a religious sort of gathering. El Templo del Sabor. The arcs turn as you approach, as you come kind of into the section of town. And they look at you, and you hear them at this distance already, Starl. <laughs> to which Rusty responds, Bark! 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 <laughs> and would add some rar. <laughs> I am, all, Wait, I am always amazed at how authentic the golf town is. <laughs> He's just like, 
Oh shit! Is that what they're supposed to sound like? Ah, fuck it. <laughs> now, now some some of you would telling. recognize these creatures as far as what they are. Some they're they're called arcs, but some people refer to them as hound folk. Um, they're intelligent dogmen. They're about three meters tall, and walk on their hind legs. They're known to be ferocious. Uh, these seem to be well kitted out, like they're carrying. Uh, like each one of them has a mace and a shield, and it's a makeshift mace. It's like a bowling ball on the end of like a metal pipe, <laughs> and a stop sign, like with you know rebar for a shield. But they're uh, they see you and are uh, immediately kind of start taking kind of defensive positions, like. Arr, 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 arr. Well, <laughs> she's just really aggressive. She I, just like grips her freaking the wrench, I, the, the large wrench that she has. I, I would try to use my empathy skill to try to locate if there's more creatures around. Oh, so we're using a power. We dun, are. Dun, dun. Okay. Let me get the chart. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't really have that. I have uh, I have a wrench <laughs> and my technical skills, and that's it. <laughs> All right. So you should see on your sheet there under your empathy a, a power score at the very bottom of the description. I do. That's okay. six. All right. So roll a d one hundred. Uh, let's see. It'll be an eighty one. 81. Very nice. Okay, so watch this. Boom, everyone can see your roll now, too. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so happy for my roll. <laughs> An 81 is actually really good. Uh, okay. So, yeah, it's you kind of immediately hone your senses. You send out these tendrils of feeling into the area. And you get a sense that not only are these two very angry uh, creatures in front of you there, but on the other side of this building, you get the sense, and you can't quite pull a number, but you get a sense that there's more sitting back there. Um, the left or right building, or both? The the one that they're in front of, the, this okay. building here. Got it. Um, oh. you, you also get the sense that they can hear their, their friends up front barking and yowling. Uh, you also get the sense that there's... You, you're having a hard time reading beyond that, though. Like, as far as what's in the building, it's like your empathy's not piercing the structures. But yeah, you definitely get the sense of that. Well, I can tell they're angry. I can also tell there's a lot more of them in there. Don't. Don't worry. I... I... I've got this one. Uh, oh lord. <laughs> quick, quick question. Are, GM, are we supposed to have control of the tokens at all? Uh, do you? You should. Do also, we I, believe, to on I don't know if... It didn't work. Size, on I'll fix that. I don't know if the size is related to it, but I'm technically a large creature, I think. Uh, we'll we'll just I keep that eight. in mind for... Because the, the yeah. squares work a lot different than... Oh, uh, okay. Say D&D. &D. Let's see, that's a pan. I'm gonna sign your tokens to you real quick. Boom. And you should yeah, see those. Technical difficulties, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it was supposed to do it automatically, man. <laughs> Whatever. Zach lumbers forward, uh, crawling like a gorilla, and he holds out his arm and a crossbow begin like unfolds from it and says would you like some cookies <laughs> uh well ho hold on i didn't mean to say that one um <clears throat> <laughs> that that's that's what he does. Okay. <laughs> so with that, 
the arcs kind of look at each other like confused and sighs and, and they kind of look Zach up and down and kind of look past him look at the rest of you the, the party is aware that well the fungus ate Zach it also technically ate some other people at some point in the long <laughs> past. And there are bits and pieces of artifacts of other people inside of him, technically. So he is not always in control of himself. Makes Jackie's sense. just kind of like rubbing her face a little bit. <laughs> getting like it, getting probably getting like an oil snail or smear on her template. On her temple, uh, on her temple, because of the freaking wrench that she's using. <laughs> camera like head kind of leans over to pan, like up until the cookies part. That was pretty cool, though, right? <laughs> up until the cookies part. Up until the cookies <laughs> part. <laughs> so cool. Next time, do better. <laughs> uh, Always I room for improvement. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, don't do the cookie part next time. I I, I didn't do the cookie part. I, I that wasn't me. And I mean I mean it was me, but it's not. Stop. YouTube, stop approaching. Bad bad dogs. Bad dogs. Maybe they don't like Rusty. So as you say, bad dogs. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> as you say, bad dogs. Mm-hmm. They look at each other, look at you, and growl and initiate combat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, way to go, Zach! <laughs> I thought it would work. They're dogs. They, they should be very upset about that. Get their own. That would work. Is that... Rusty. <laughs> Rusty upset. would like to hear is a good dog. Rusty is a good dog. They're upset. This is true. <laughs> You're not holding the newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> so, that being said, this is going to be our first combat. Are you guys ready? Da, da, da. No, let's go. No, right. yeah. <laughs> okay, so, uh, first things first. Now, I, I'm declaring their movement, and then you guys will declare their action, okay? I'm going to walk you guys through this kind of step-by-step -step as quick as we can. So, basically, you're going to declare your intended action. Uh, okay. They're going to start... They're going to... Basically, movement is going to be their action. They're going to close the distance between you. So, you guys tell me what you're going to do. We'll, we'll start... I'm just going to go in order. Uh, Jackie, Zach... Azu Pan, okay? okay? If you need help as far as actions, as movement, attack, defense, reload, change weapons, anything that doesn't just interrupt combat, basically. Right. So what would you like to do? Combat hype train! <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if we can get Rusty to play some battle music. <laughs> He's playing some amazing music. He's got the music from from the the broadcast coming through still. <laughs> He's just got that going. <laughs> um, uh, so does it matter who goes first? Well, like, we're gonna do initiative action? after you call your move, your action. Okay, cool. Um, well, Jackie's just gonna get her fucking scatter gun out. Like, it's, they're they're pretty far enough away. Um, she's gonna get her scatter gun out, and she's probably gonna move forward a little bit so she can blast somebody in the face. All right, so you can move <laughs> half your distance, half your movement, and pull your scatter gun. That is speed sixteen, so half her movement is eight. Square? Yeah, we'll, we'll consider that. We just get as close as you can, but don't don't move yet, okay? Yeah, no, no. I'm just, I'm just, uh, I'm wondering, is it like eight squares or like eight feet? It, well, one square is fifteen feet. That's that's the difference. <laughs> oh, interesting. Ah. Okay. Melee range is a totally different thing. <laughs> In okay. All right. Cool. All right. So, uh, Zach, what are you gonna do? I would like to grab a dog. <laughs> One of the arcs. 
Yeah. You're going to grapple yeah. them? Not Rusty. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, when, 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 when they come up to me, I just want to, like, just snatch it All right. if I can. All right. You can go for a grapple. Okay. Okay. Good deal. All right. Azu, what are you going to do? How, how tall is this building that I'm standing next to? The, the one over this? Or that one? Kind of not ping. On, on the right? This one? Yeah. Yeah, that one. Uh, well, as you look over, it's it's pretty big. Uh, maybe 15, 20 feet. I. Um. Okay. I will. Um, can you can your character read? I forget. Um. I. I didn't take anything related to reading, so probably not. All right. Well, here, I, I, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you these places real quick, okay? <coughs> okay. So, on the right. Remember, my guardians, Ooh. the code to our prosperity is... Got to show it to you. The on the right, the building you're talking about, this is what it looks like. And guard it with okay. All, all right. No one touch our dial. The music will and... Die, but they will. The, the other building... It's a lot bigger, obviously, but this is kind of the corner of it that you're looking at. Okay. So you kind of have an idea what you're looking at. Now, like I said, the one on the left, you can read. It says El Templo, El Templo del Sabor, right? Uh, the other one actually has a sign as well. But this one's in English, and it just says Roller Dome. <laughs> nice. So Neither of the, the signs <laughs> mean anything to Azu. <laughs> um, so he is just going to fly up on top of the roller dome all right and draw yeah. his bow okay so what about uh, about here yeah basically just trying to get some height advantage and distance <laughs> between myself and the dogs okay um seeing as they look to only be armed with melee weapons i'm gonna fly up there and uh draw my bow and uh you know if if time permits i will shoot one um provided they have <laughs> acted truly aggressively i'm not i'm not out to kill anyone just because they're running it folks all right that works all right pan what are you gonna do pan is gonna grab a dagger from his like a belly area and he's gonna go hide a little bit behind uh zach okay. using his the big robot body as cover slash tank okay <laughs> gets that ready works. to attack all right so uh, w initiative works as a group mechanic so whichever one of you has the highest dex modifier. Oh, I don't have dex. <laughs> <laughs> dex? I have seven. Ne ha never Just no, modifier know. or the stat itself? Uh, modifier. Highest modifier. I've got plus two. Plus two? I got plus zero. <laughs> it's zero here as well. All right. So plus two is going to be the, the mod. So Azu, roll a d6 for me and add your mod to it. I think I did that right. Oh, and I rolled terribly. Sorry, guys. Uh, Reroll. We have tied. Oh, we have tied? Mm -hmm. Are you are you cheating to do that on purpose? Because we tied again. Well, no, I, I actually we did tie. Okay, one more roll. One more roll. <laughs> Okay, I think you got oh, it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> we were tying it up, but it's all right. <laughs> all right. So no, that's that's great. That means you guys get to go first. You have won the initiative. You have all the advantages in the world. Okay. Yay. So first thing we're gonna do is movement. Uh, Azu, your first. Move yourself into place. Uh, no more than three squares, obviously and readying your weapon. So that'll be yep. your, your your called movement. Uh, the rest of you, same thing. Any movement that you've called, you can do, or you can opt to wait and, and react. Change your, your called movement since you want initiative. You can actually wait and react later in this round if you want to see what they're going to do, so to speak. So, yeah, I might just wait and react. All right, Sounds wait good and react. Okay. I'm going to move... You can still move least... half your movement 
and react. I'm gonna move right here. Then. Okay, there you go. My my movement is 16. So how many squares would that be? Like one. One. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not even. Yeah, I'll let you. You um, can move one square and and still have a reaction. The gatekeepers of this realm. Yeah, I'll I'll move and react. Okay. I'll move here and react. Yeah. Alrighty. Uh, <laughs> Rusty, Rusty will hide. Rusty, uh -huh. Rusty, please, he's our mascot. Hide away. <laughs> arr, 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 arr. Okay. <laughs> Poor Rusty. All right. <clears throat> so. <laughs> All right. So they will move. Uh, uh, is anyone? No one's doing any mental attacks. I take it. I wish I could. Okay. Uh, I so. gave up the ability to use a mental attack to be smart. Because <laughs> I'm smart. Um, <laughs> so, here's what's going to happen. <laughs> Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Uh, a strange aura emits from the arcs. The one closest to you in particular. Oof, Jesus. <laughs> Is that that's either really good or really bad? It's bad. I think it's bad. <laughs> for them or for us? For them. Yeah, that's called, that's what's that's a, a dismal failure. That's a black roll. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um. He kind of goes, <laughs> like he hurts himself, but you're not really sure how. <laughs> All, right. All right. Well, that worked in your favor amazingly well. <laughs> Jackie is so confused. He's like, what? It, it hurts he, itself, it's he, just, and it's confusion. He's confused, too, if, the, <laughs> if that helps. He, he's <laughs> like, what, what just happened? <laughs> All <fuck>? right. <laughs> so... Uh, missile attacks go next. Uh, Azu and Jackie, I believe you had planned missile attacks. Uh, yeah, it, it's scattergun in All particular, right. yeah. So roll a d100 plus your uh, dex modifier for both of you. Uh, what's this? Okay, no, never mind. I'm just gonna. Who's from both? Ooh, Azu. Plus. It's just weird. Fuck. <laughs> or slash R. I know. <laughs> I just forgot that one. There we go. Hey, not bad. Both good rolls. Both good rolls. Okay, so here we go. Using the act table. <laughs> Azu fires your bow. It is a bow, not a crossbow, right? Correct. Just a regular old bow and arrow. Okay. Two. All right. You strike. Uh, what is your base damage plus dex modifier? Uh, that is ten. Ten. All right. So yeah, you strike. Uh, which one were you going aiming at? Um. So the range of my bow is just twenty-five. So I think I'm going to have to shoot at the guy closest to me. Okay. Solid, solid, solid. Uh, you definitely nail him pretty hard. You said for 10? Yes. Okay. So yeah, you definitely nail him pretty hard. You see him kind of jolt as the as the arrow hits him. A little spurt of, of dogman blood comes out. He kind of looks up at you and bars his teeth. Uh, Jackie, fire your scatter gun. Same thing. D100 plus dex mod. Oh, wait, no, you already did. You have a 75. Uh, oh, actually, that was a blue hit, so you did times two damage, by the way, Azu. Uh, you, you have a white hit, Jackie, so it's just standard damage plus your okay. dex mod. How much damage did you do? Your question. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, if you look at your sheet under your attacks, you should probably have a scatter gun listed, and it should just tell you base damage. The damage. Yep. Yeah. 
is it, uh... I actually don't really... Here, I'll pull you up. So, here. I get 5 and then I get 20 for the second? Okay. There was range, one's damage. Yeah, so 20, that's 20. It. Yeah, 20 is your base damage. Okay. Yeah. Solid hit. Blam! <laughs> 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 you just hear like the cock of a shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> are you are you aiming at this one? Yeah, I'm aiming at the closest one. Okay, so yeah, he, he kind of goes, arr, arr, arr. <laughs> as as you strike him pretty solid, uh, tattering his 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 horrible like animal hide armor that he's wearing and tearing off a corner of his shield. <laughs> Spectacular. All right, uh, melee attacks. Okay. That's us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're going to try to grapple, Zach, is that correct? Yes. You have a grappling and skill? You, you can't move and then grapple. You have to just grapple now? You can move half your movement rate and still have an action. Okay. Uh... I have, is this speed 80? Yeah, those robo legs move pretty fast. Are you going to run past this one or just moving around him? Moving around him. Okay. Uh. Actually, he's probably still gonna, he, he's still standing, so he's probably still gonna go after my friend. So, uh, you know what? Just gonna move here and then I'm gonna grapple him. All right, all right. Give me a, a melee, an unarmed melee attack, basically, which will be your. Uh, you have a rank in in wrestling or grappling, don't you? Uh, yes. Okay, so you're gonna add uh, to that. So, okay. So roll. And the CS put a four there, Ben. Well, you're you're gonna make your your PS. So D100 plus your P, your physical strength mod, plus uh, your your rank in grappling is going to be one plus one basically. Oh, it's I thought I said double the uh, uh, attack rank, one thing. Uh, I know it moves the the CS your result factor. I mean, it moves your result factor of one. That's what I meant by plus one. I'm sorry. Yeah, go okay. ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. So does it? So I have a, a PS of two, or the mod is two. Okay. Does that mean plus it's two. double to four, or like I get a plus four then, or is what? No, it's 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 plus two. So it's a D one hundred. Okay. Plus two. Okay. And I do have that taller feature, uh, the result factor plus one. So that's another boost to your result factor. This should be pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. Oh my. Uh, yeah, so that's... Oh this is a red. Okay? This is like a crit, basically. Ooh. Now, the way crits work is a little different. This is going to give you a, a boost next round. But it's, okay. a, it's an immediate success. So, now grappling... Uh, I don't, you don't really do any damage with grappling. No, I, I just want to grab hold of him in my arms and just like lift him up to my eye <laughs> and go. Oh, it, you're. you're... Uh, we didn't hear that one. <laughs> yeah, it didn't come through. We didn't hear that one, yeah. Oh, you didn't hear it? No, I, I think no. the last word came through. Uh. Still cutting out. Yeah. It might be the voice thing that's not working. Yeah, I think it's... No, I turned my mic oh. sensitivity down. That's why. Oh, okay. Oh. <clears throat> One second. You're good. You're good. Our first, you need a drink. Our first crit. Need, our first crit. Back. Ladies and gentlemen, first crit. Holy crit! Holy crit! <laughs> the robot short circuiting. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Quit killing... <laughs> <laughs> I worked way too hard to get that brain into the body. We're not going to try and kill him now. 
Uh, can you guys hear? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, my thing fell down and turned off. <laughs> oh, oh no. Okay. Hate it when that happens. I got this mic sensitivity back up. All right. I'm going to give you one chance to apologize. <laughs> how was how was that? All right. Yeah. All right. So Jackie's we're looking. Jackie's the one looking in some kind of perpetual fear. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you much you've, cooler than the cookies. You've got this hound folk, and you just bear hugged him with these robot limbs, and you can hear like bones kind of like popping, not necessarily breaking, but like you just cracked the hell out of his back. He kind of goes, oh, oh, and then looks down and is like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you're, you, you've got him. You've got him. This is a crit success. That, that advantage is going to come around next round. Mm -hmm. um, so you're good. You're good. Uh, Pan, what about you? Anything? I Is this guy still feeling, is he feeling sorry about what he did or is he still angry? <laughs> uh, he's still angry as far as your empathy goes. He's still very angry. Okay, I, I would walk the rest of the way and just give him a little dagger slash. <laughs> Go ahead. Stab. Go ahead I can't and roll wait to me. walk up to somebody and hit them across the face. He's being held. This is the perfect time to do it. <laughs> yes. um, We're going to boost your result factor one. Uh, which is... Uh, um, you know, held me a whole lot. Yourself? <laughs> <laughs> so... Black and red aren't affected by boosts to the result factory. This is a dismal failure. <laughs> I can tell. So that's going to disadvantage you next round, which we'll nice. tell you next round when we get into it. Okay. <laughs> this is brilliant. We're, we're having all these crits and failures in round one, ladies and gentlemen. So now we come into the second movement phase. Um... Anybody that held, which I think everyone's kind of moved already, so I think you're good. Uh, mm -hmm. So now it's their turn, basically. Uh, one is grappled. There's nothing he can do. Uh, the other's taken his movement already. Uh, he has nothing he can do. So he's going to take a defensive action this round. Just kind of boost his ability to not be hit. Um, but yeah, that's the end of first round. Awesome. So we're all alive. <laughs> Yay. So now you kind of know how the round works, basically. So I'll call it out, and you kind of know what you can do now. If there's any okay. questions, of course, don't be afraid to ask. I know this is a new system for a lot of us. So. Church just brings out the roll extremes. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. Um, <laughs> uh so here we go with roll extremes. We're going to do some more roll extremes. Next round, movement. Anybody want to move? Um, I think I'm going to just stay where I am because the scatter gun seems to be working. A knock on wood. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that works. Um, I'm going to move three squares to my left. All right, go for it. <clears throat> All right. Uh, so such a thing as... on the temple door over here. Okay. You definitely yeah. have that. Is there such a thing as attack of opportunities in this? Uh, is yeah. You have to. You can flee and and risk a, a free hit from them, or you can break out of break like break away from combat, and you roll to a try to do that. And I'm gonna stay right here. Okay. Right here's good. That works. So moving into their space is okay, but if you move out, it's... That's correct. It's... So same basic principle. Breaking off combat is a little more complicated, just because right. you have to actually roll to do it. It's not a given. Okay. All right. Uh, I, 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 before I uh, do, do decide whether to move or not, I have to ask, is, is this dog pacified, or is he still looking here? He's baring his teeth. Uh, I'll let you know. <laughs> For the time being, he's still aggressive. Okay. But we'll uh, I'm getting around. a run. Ooh. In that case, I'm going to get a running start. Thank you, Flesh. Bravo. Five tier one subs to the community gifted. I saw some good names in there too. Some of my favorite people. 
Awesome. Thank you. Urban, Teebs, Gintendo. I think that was a good good five pack. Yeah, that was a really good five pack. Now they have to watch us. <laughs> <laughs> that works. <laughs> All right. So uh, we've, we've got your movement. Um, I assume I'm bringing him along. Yeah, yeah. He's. Which way are you facing with him? Uh, I, I'll just hold him right there for now. But uh, like the momentum is going this direction right now. Okay, well, here, let's put him in front of you, since, you know, your arms, you've got him like this. And that puts you, him in front of you, and this one just beside you, so nobody's behind you. Unless you want someone behind you, which we, we can do that. Don't flank yourself, sir. I, I, I don't <laughs> want to force you to do something. <laughs> no, no, it, it, it's fine like that, it's fine. He's holding it in front of me, like, for a second, right now. He's probably going to be behind me for a second, and then he's probably going to be somewhere else. Okay. Slinging him around. What's going on? So he's just slinging him all over the place. All right. <laughs> Poor guy. So bad. Just a little bit. All right. Well, that's. Uh, this one doesn't want to move. Then he's gonna stay put. All right. Uh, in that case, mental attack time. <laughs> Let me see if I can do a little bit better this time around. <laughs> No, you don't have to. <laughs> 32. All 32 right. is, a, is something. What's your uh, MS there? Uh, my MS is a 11. 11, okay. Hey, so is mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. So... You, the one that's standing next to you, you feel that aura kind of come over you again. Um, and it's... What is the range on this? Do, 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 do. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so... This will actually tag... Pan and Azu as well. The, the, the strange sensation comes over you and you feel as if something is being pulled out of you, some sort of life essence almost, as it's just kind of like this weird sense that some essence, some aspect of your very core has just been yanked out of you invisibly and you each take six points of damage. And you see this guy look a little stronger. <laughs> in fact, Cheater. in fact, that arrow just kind of gets shoved right out of the wound and clatters onto the oh, ground. Oh. They got spell healing auras. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Damn, it. Damn it. Damn <laughs> it. All right, so. Uh, that's it for the mental attacks. You guys, missile attacks first. Let's do it! Uh, okay, so how far can I move and attack? Because my target was here, or there, but now he's not, and that means I can't reach. Uh, half your movement. Well, my movement is, or my speed is 16. 16, so okay. So I, I really don't know how many squares that Just is. Just one square. Just one square. Oh my yeah. god, okay. Cool. I don't know. I don't think I can cat. I don't think I can get him then. What's the range on your gun? I think it's it's five. That's There's no way. All right. Well, you can double your move, like make a charge. Just to get into range faster. Yeah, I'll do that, and that'll be my turn. Okay. <laughs> I did move. not realize your gun was range five. <laughs> well, it's a scatter. Yeah, gun. Well, it's it's yeah, yeah. It's a scatter gun. So. I mean, it makes sense, but yeah, yeah. it yeah. still hits for twenty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. That. That's, that's, that's right. why I got it. <laughs> oh yeah, Azu, what about you? You want to pop another arrow? Oh, yeah. 
I'm gonna actually move over to here so I have a closer line of shot there, and yeah, I'm I'm gonna shoot at him. All right. And yell that, hey, that was a part of me that I really liked that you took there. <laughs> as soon as I remember what it is. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Oh, another crit. Crit. Holy crit. <laughs> Holy crit. Ladies and gentlemen. Holy crit. Another crit. Let's do this. What is your damage? In, that's not a crit. My apologies. Oh, I don't know how to roll, apparently. And I missed the oh, thing. Oh. oh. I thought that looked a little weird, but there is a correct roll. I mean, that's still moment. pretty good, though. It's still, still good, good. But yeah, I just I was not trying to cheat there, and I, <laughs> I looked at it. I was like, it usually tells me what I rolled on my die. I was just getting excited for you. I was yeah, like, I was too, right. and then I was like, that's not right. That's not. We right. were all so excited, and then it's like, oh wait, wait. I'm like, what? <laughs> that's all right. That's all right, though, because let's see here. This is 72. This is still a blue, so you're still doing double damage. So that's another uh, 20 damage 20. if it's double. Yeah. yeah. Solid. All right. Yeah, you hit him pretty solid. He, he kind of jolts back again. Uh, you're firing down on him, so it's like you're hitting him in the shoulder blades coming down. It looks like a real painful strike. Arr, 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 arr. He kind of yelps. All right, I had two stocks. Saying hi to TBJ in the look. You brought her out, Flesh. <laughs> if you gift it, they will come. All right, <laughs> that's awesome. Hype train. All right, so uh, melee next. Okay. Zach and uh, potentially Pan. Potentially. Uh Cool. Do you mind if I go first, Ben? Yeah, go for it. All right, Zach, you have an advantage this round. Okay, so as like the wave of psychic pain rolls over him, he kind of like flinches for a moment, looks at the dog in his hand. <laughs> I gave you a chance. <laughs> hey, uh, Jack, what, what, do you remember the name of that one like, Artifact we found, it was like a movie or something. You're gonna what have to be wrong? more specific, darling. Oh no, no, never mind. I remembered. All dogs go to heaven. And I'm gonna crane back. I am going to softball pitch this dog as high as I physically can and potentially through this roof. Okay, so Hurling? Uh, yeah, I, I I don't know if like wrestling still counts at that point. Um, no, this, this is this will be a little different, especially for a like, just a strong like hurl, hurl. That's yeah, like, that's, that's, that's a solid yeet right there. <laughs> yeah, keep, keep in mind like these aren't small. <laughs> oh, you, didn't you, you said they were three feet tall? Three meters. Meters. Oh, meters tall. Yes. Oh, that's bigger. <laughs> Yes. He almost looks you in my eye by himself. <laughs> yeah, this is about a nine foot tall dog person. <laughs> oh my okay. goodness. I want to try as hard as I can to throw him as far as I can. Okay. okay. Go Just ahead. as far. Go ahead. Make him eat the dirt. <laughs> we'll see how far he goes. <laughs> All right. Uh, we we're just going to do a straight PS check. So D100 plus PS. <laughs> All right, uh, this is a difficult one because he's big. I have I have the plus one from being taller and the one thing from being uh, the previous round. All right, so yeah, the advantage. You do have an advantage, so I'm going to boost this a uh, an RF for your advantage. Okay. And I have I have that taller mutation, which boosts any sort of uh, unarmed or uh, melee thing. So. This, right? yeah, yeah. For for this, I'll let, especially let that. So, you kind of you, you rotate at the hip, just that servo goes, and you kind of go <laughs> whoop whoop woo, <laughs> and this thing goes, <laughs> it flies probably about a good 
I don't know, like 20 yards into Holy the building. Shit. Just kind of a... Uh, bam! Like he hits against the wall, kind of face first. And then just slides comically down the wall. <laughs> squeaking as it goes. Knocking dust off and then plants on the on prone onto street level. Uh, you, you did a significant little chunk of damage to him as well. And he is not only prone but stunned for the next round. Nice. The, uh, the body continues, like the upper torso of his body continues to spin around slowly and then come to a grinding stop looking at this next dog man. Dang. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Very good. Pan, what about you? Anything? I, if you let me get away with it, I would be charging in to attack this guy. Do you have the movement? I have 24 speed. 24? And this would be 30. Uh, That's not enough. I'll use my yeah. action to get more movement or something. You you have the ability to... Uh... Well, it's going to pounce on him? You, you can... Well, you're not your big attack before you. I was gonna say I'll, I'll let you charge, but the attack you wouldn't be able to do this round. But it'll get you within range. Sure, I'll get within range. Okay. All right. So Pan rushes up. <laughs> All ten of his fingers. All ten of his fingers. With all the fingers. Attack of the wiener dogs. <laughs> all right. So here we go. We are, we're, we're doing good. You guys are doing good for your first fight. Nobody has died. <laughs> I <would> hope so. <laughs> it came Hello. close a few times, but. All right, so I believe Zach, that's pretty much everyone is gone on your end. You've all done your action, so it's their turn. Uh, this one, stunned. He's not doing anything. This one, on the other hand, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, he's gonna take a, a swing at uh, Zach, obviously, right? Understandable. Obviously. obviously. Um, he cheated to serve his brother. Obviously. <laughs> 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 Holy shit! <laughs> Holy, not crit. All right. Um, he rares back. He's got this bowling ball and the end of a chunk of rebar just wrapped around the handle with some old fur. He kind of... As, as you come around and kind of stutter to a stop facing him, he goes Rah! and hurls this thing and it just it hits like the most solid part of your body. And you can just see it. He goes <laughs> and he grabs his arm. <laughs> the, re the reverberation. <laughs> He's having a rough day. Rough Jackie day. Jackie kind of like cringes at like the, almost like the, the sound of this ball hitting, like the, the most solid part of his frame going, oh, that that's not going to be good for a bowling ball. That's not good at all. <laughs> all right. So yeah, he's uh, screwed. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that disadvantage will affect him next round. So we are back around. You guys are up. I am gonna move. See if I can get up. Can I charge up here? Yeah. Or yeah. can can I shoot from here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. So I'm just gonna move one. All right. But you have that scatter gun. I'm right here. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. It's fine. It'll be fine. Just just don't roll, <laughs> just, just don't roll black. <laughs> you watch it's gonna happen <laughs> of course it will that's why I'm worried knock on wood <laughs> it's fine it... don't worry it's fine she's only ever occasionally talked about going on a safari <laughs> <laughs> yeah <Zach. laughs> those darn pure strains <laughs> alright All right, so yeah give me a, a d100 plus your dex mod let's see how this goes Eighty. Look at these rolls. <laughs> My goodness, an eighty. Uh, oh. That that's that that 
that should have been my scattergun roll. You, you watch, it's gonna. So you're hitting the one that's closest there, obviously. Uh, you. Oh yes. Boom! And you just nail this thing like full on in the chest. You have a blue result doing double damage. It's forty yes, that's points four. of damage. Oh. And this thing's chest armor disintegrates, and you just see like this hamburger pulp underneath formed by the pellets of your 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 scatter gun as it just rips through him. He yelps once, spins around twice, and just splats on the ground in a huge pool of viscera and blood. Jackie takes her scat the barrel of her scatter gun, just the what if there is any kind of like residual smoke, she just goes <laughs> <laughs> Solid shot, womp womp indeed. More death. All right. She, she, she puts her she puts the shatter gun, a scatter gun on her shoulder. Looks at Pan going. See, you have to have a little bit more faith in me. <laughs> I don't trust that thing you're holding. So uh, Azu, uh, there's one left. He's still alive. Uh, he's prone and stunned. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like at this juncture, the arrow is probably the nicest thing that Azu can do compared to what my friends down there might do. So I'll go ahead and scooch and take my shot. All right. Go ahead and give me your roll, sir. 75. My goodness. Holy shit. <laughs> You're not nice. And this is going to get bumped, so you have a green result. Triple damage, sir. Holy shit. <laughs> that is 30. 30 points. Uh, you kind of pause and be like, oh, you, you poor thing. Rare back. Let loose your arrow. This, this, this dog person kind of lifts his stunned head to look up and see his friend's guts fall out just in time for your arrow to pierce the back of his head and pin it to the ground. Uh, He lets out a and that's the end (laughs) of that arc. Um, Hello, don't jinx me again. This is is the highest I've ever rolled. (laughs) (laughs) So (laughs) (laughs) So as the the dust is settling and and your, your adrenaline is kind of rushing through you. You're all pumped up. It's like, yeah! Hell yeah, brother! Hell yeah! Um, You guys hear the barks of more arcs coming from around behind El Templo del Sabor. Many more coming your direction. Uh, The roller dome that Azu is standing on, the last arc that died is laid out in front of the door. Or there's the street going onward, or you can stand your ground and try to hold your own. Jackie, um, having a little bit more brains than Braun, uh, honestly, she was getting really lucky with those fucking rolls, considering she has plus nothing. Um, <laughs> she, uh, she looks at the door and she's like, we might need to go into that there temple, otherwise we're going to get run over. You mean the roller dome, they're inside the temple. This door here. Yes, kind of let's go hide inside, point. obviously. That's the roller dome. We'll go in, the, yeah, the roller dome. All right. So I, you guys, I got mixed up. <laughs> no, yo, you're good. You're rolling into the roller dome. Rolling yeah. into the that, roller that, dome. Uh, so wait, which one are they coming out of? Is it this one? They're coming around one? from behind that one. The, 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 this one, they're coming from behind this one. Okay, Zach will quickly run over here to the door. And I'm, he's just going to grab like the door thing and just crunch it a little bit with his hands. Okay. And uh, then run this way. All right. So you guys are right. running as fast as you can. I was going to say, shit, Jackie turns around. Rusty, come on. <laughs> <laughs> bark, bark, bark. <laughs> That's right, Rusty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys push through the door. It luckily is not locked or barred. It flies open, and it's one of those, like, push-to-open doors that you'd see on a roller rink exit, the double doors. 
you guys kind of grab it and push in and oh no it's a pull door and you pull it open and you rush in <laughs> um as you rush in there was a sign wasn't there <laughs> <laughs> there was a sign it's okay it's faded it was faded it's, it's, it's been there for a long time as you rush in and the door is slowly closing behind you one of elon's twitters flies in as well carrying a small piece of paper is it blue <laughs> of course it's blue it's also got a very limited number of characters on it <laughs> just 140 is that is that, that the limit? maps <laughs> so yes it, it it lands on uh on jackie's shoulder um, you can only read 600 of these messages is there a day. something to lock the doors uh, there's enough debris just inside to where you could, you know, kind of bar the, the, the mechanism. That's what Jackie's going to do um, before paying attention to the tweeter bird. I, um, I will try to catch the tweeter bird to get the message. <laughs> Pan, don't eat it! I've got it! I just want to read. <laughs> uh. <laughs> The can't Twitter's a little spooked. <laughs> we can't afford to eat the Twitter birds, all right? There's the food outside we just killed. I'll, I just want to read this. How much do they cost? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Jackie kind of like uh, motions for the bird to go towards Pan in hopes that Pan doesn't like eat it immediately. She's she's putting a lot of faith in that because she's busy like barring the door shut so, so is... that the the arcs don't come in. As you look at the bird, you see its eyes kind of glazed over, and it doesn't appear to respond. Shaggy kind of looks at... Oh, I see. Okay. Rusty, uh, she looks at Rusty, and she uh, basically commands him to turn off his radio for now, because she might think that might be what's, what's going on. He is unable to. What? You're not really sure how it's playing through him to begin with. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she, she's like, I don't think I put a radio system in there, but here we are. Or maybe there was one. Anyway. All right, so, well, she takes a little note, and then she hands it off to Pan. I guess she just now has a bird on her shoulder. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> the bird I... falls over as you take the piece of paper. Like, you kind of pull it, and the bird just goes, hmm. <laughs> I, I... Pan would take the bird, delicately, <laughs> and Delicate. just walk away with it. Um, oh. <laughs> um, did you say I'm gonna eat it? No did you say I wanted to eat it? <laughs> did you say delicately or delicacy? Um, <laughs> yes. What was the first one? Um, he, he's just gonna put it in the pocket of the backpack for later. Um, oh. What? <laughs> I don't want to eat. I don't want to eat dog, man. The last time I ate a dog, I kept wa wagging my ass for like, uh, like at least three weeks. The dogs aren't talking. We need those. So uh, the, the 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 note from the Twitter, yes, says, "Found a way to combat the sound. There are artifacts. Find them." That's all it says. I wish it was just... more. I wish it was more characters to this, so we could have maybe, better understanding. Maybe, maybe less vague. <laughs> I can just kind of like sighs, and she goes, "Why didn't he just give us two notes, well, or two post-its, or something?" Only five hundred ninety-nine more of those to go for the day. <laughs> maybe some kind of twitch longer or something. So, let's see here. We are changing maps. What in target? <laughs> now, it might be a little dark right now, right? It's yes. cheap. Pitch yes. black. The show. Good. Good, good, good. Alright. Jackie's just, like, sliding things in front of the door. Just like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Zach is just watching with, like... It's hard to read the expressions of a robot, but you're pretty sure this is humor on his face right now. Jackie, like, 
huffs as she looks at the robot, and she looks at Zack and goes, Do you mind helping? Oh, but you were... You were doing so well, I didn't want to, like, you know... Uh, like, you know how it is. <laughs> okay, <Nah>. I'll help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, she's giving him a look of... Get over here. <laughs> you, the, there's no need to bring out the Nokia. <laughs> oh my god. The most deadly weapon. <laughs> the Nokia Morningstar. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so now you should be able to see a little ring of light around Rusty. Yes. Okay. Oh, he has a little light. <laughs> he, he does have a very small light on him. He is equipped. He's like a pit boy, but a dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good. That's a good analogy. I like that. Rusty is is the new pit boy. <laughs> peeking so, what? A, what am I peeking at? <laughs> a pet boy, if you will. <laughs> a pet boy. A good boy. <laughs> the best boy. <laughs> so it's very dark, and you find yourselves kind of in 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 a lobby uh, of what once was the roller dome. At one time, you can see, just in the very faint light that Rusty gives off, that this must have been a very festive location at some point. The, the colorful paints long faded and cracked along the walls and the floor kind of hinted at some sort of maybe celebratory function that must have occurred in this. Uh, something aimed maybe at, at maybe like a mating ritual or something of the old world. It's so hard to say. But there are walls on either side of you. Uh, and it opens up into a larger lobby to the south. We're going to say to the south just to keep directions easy here. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, now, obviously, like I said, you're a little limited as far as what you can see, I know, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit, yeah. Okay. Does anyone have a light? What can I uh, smell? That's my question. You have a light typo? I have a giant glowing red eye. Okay. Uh, here's what I'll do. Uh, I'm going to put a little aura around you too then. And I'm not hindered by low light. Oh. Due to my bug eyes. Bug I eyes. guess Jack, all Jackie uses is, is rusty. I, like I just it. use my nose. That's what I'd be walking about with. Won't stop me from bumping into things, but there you go. Thank you. Oh wow! And Azu, you have special vision. You're gonna have the. At mine. That's mine. Okay. There you go. It's so like, I didn't think mine was even in here. I think I... you should have your your low light vision now. Yep, that's it's much clearer. There we go. In this room. All right, so everyone can can kind of see a little bit now, thanks to Zach and, and Rusty and Azu. I, I'd, I'd like to imagine that uh, I my care like my robot has the capability for things like infrared and ultraviolet vision and whatnot, but like when Jackie was trying to explain the concepts of these visions, it was like trying to explain it to Lovecraft. He was like. <laughs> So there's colors man cannot see. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here we go. Yeah, she kind of gave up when he just still wasn't understanding. She's like, I'm sure he'll figure it out at some point. <laughs> Cat text. Sorry. Oh. She doesn't have fingers. But she is a mutant. <laughs> Close enough. Baby. <laughs> All right. Sydney Vicious go play. Cat I see. All right. So, once again, as I said, dusty air, hard to see, uh, very festive. At least at some point, it has been long ago. Uh, as far as what you can smell, Pan, you, your sense of smell is a little clogged up thanks to the the dust and must in the air. It's hard to sell. There, there is something in here. Like you get the scent of maybe another human. But it's it's hard to say because, like I said, your senses are a little fouled up because of the 
the environment that you're in. <laughs> you smell oh, another good. human, though. You could just be Jackie. <laughs> it could just be Jackie. Jackie hasn't showered in a while. It's, it's okay. It smells like dust and old joyful mating rituals. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't want to know what that smells like. <laughs> it smells like sweat. Teen spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Teen spirit's good. Really yes. old marinated sweat. <laughs> oh, I, I grossed myself out. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> so, you guys enter and, and, and you're looking around and uh, kind of whispering amongst yourselves, getting situated, you know, acclimating to the darkness and, and the, the new environment. You hear the arcs outside barking and and looking for you guys. Um, kind of howling over their fallen comrades angrily uh, as you guys kind of hide. There's there's a lot of them, you can tell, just by the numbers of, of shuffling feet and slobbering, barking, and well, various cussing as well, because they can speak. <laughs> Um, uh, <laughs> bad dog uh, so but it, eventually the sound quiets down and as it does you notice that you can hear the music coming out of Rusty playing throughout the building as though it's like a there's an intercom system built into the building itself it's playing Jack is kind of like looking up and and, I can be broadcast out of here. Let's go deeper in. I, I think there's something else going on in here. We're going deeper. Hey, uh, quick, quick, just roll call check. Are you uh, fleshies all doing all right? <laughs> I don't want you guys having your heads turned into glue. Jackie shrugs. I mean, I'm doing fine. The music is all right. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's the greatest shit I've ever heard. <laughs> A good perp. Yeah. Okay, good. I just want to make sure everyone's doing all right. Okay. I'm fine. <laughs> the insectoid in the corner is just like... <laughs> <laughs> good. Do, do you hear the same way they do? <laughs> Poor Azu. Yeah, he's talking to Azu. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Cool. How would he it, know? It's pretty good, I, I guess. I don't know. It seems a little synthetic. I just don't know why everyone else is affected by it. Anyway, she just kind of like looks around. <clears throat> Which way should we go? I, I can't quite see if there's an area that you know. So this way. This way. This way. Oh, all right. We're <laughs> All right. Can I? Oh, okay. I do have control of him. Nice. Oh, did you? Let me make sure you do. I, I just moved him. I do. Yes. Do you? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna situate her with him so that I can just select. And then okay. Have fun. So as you move forward, uh, the, the little lobby you're in opens up into what a hall, uh, what appears to be a hallway. Okay. Um. Some of you obviously can see better than others. There's a lot of debris on the ground. Uh, as you move closer down, the, the sound of the music actually gets a little bit louder. And from somewhere in this direction... Oh, goodness. Uh, you hear shuffling movement. Uh, but beyond that, no, no present danger. Obviously, Azu, you can see into this room a little bit. Um, uh. it, it appears to have been some type of location reserved for uh, meals or feasting, maybe even. You can see by the way that the ruined tables and stools are kind of scattered across the floor that maybe even a bar? You'd be familiar with a bar. They still have those, but... So there's sounds over this way, but possible alcohol over this way. That's correct. So that's the direction as it's going. <laughs> well, uh, you know what? She, Jackie is going to trust in the one that can probably see better than she can. 
We're gonna go in here. I will make sure everyone's aware that there there are sounds coming from the other direction, but I think there might be beer over here. Maybe. Jackie just kind of she does give as it would look like seriously. We're uh, you're gonna go over here because of booze. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, <sighs> just because that thing that you hang out with can't partake. I mean, well, I mean, can he? I don't even know. What does that thing eat? What? what th thing? Thank you very much. My name is Zach. <laughs> yes, and Zach. No, I, you're I, I cannot robot eat. mushroom thing? I, I, I'm pretty sure I can't eat beer anymore. <laughs> it, beer, alcohol is like a disinfectant, right? Every beer. Shoot, if <laughs> I um, eat it, if I drink beer, beer, will I die? <laughs> It'll make you more stupid. We're not gonna test Might that. Might still be worth it. No, we're not gonna test that. We're gonna. I'm gonna go this way. I say, oh, sneak me some beer. <laughs> Big robot thumbs up. Beers <sighs> for later. You get him uh, killed. I'm coming after you, right? <laughs> and speaking He's of already uh, dead. <laughs> Are we splitting the party? We really shouldn't. No, you, you totally should. I love it when the party gets split. <laughs> I, I need no, a light. I, I have to follow a light. All right. Yeah, you're for your right. Let's go this way first. <laughs> the, the, uh, I, I, speaking of food, I am dragging behind one of the wolf man, the dead wolf man behind me. Oh, are you dragging the the, the hound? Yeah, person? like there there is a uh, there's like a single um, like fungal tendril wrapped around its neck, and it's just kind of <laughs> dragging behind like a leash. Zach, why do you have that dragon around you? <laughs> he like he raises an arm and like the wolf like kind of lifts up halfway, like a like a marionette with strings mostly cut. <laughs> lunch. <laughs> the hound folks can talk. They're not lunch. Maybe Disner. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you know, you're you're right. Actually, I can't. I shouldn't. I shouldn't eat anything sentient. I shouldn't eat anything that's like intelligent, because if I do, I don't know what's going to happen to me. You might start barking at random intervals, and I don't. I, I mean, don't that's what happens when I ate. That, that's what happens when I ate wolf. I think you have enough intelligence inside of you, and they're all fighting each other. As you say making the you word, stupid. As you say the word, thing, that's I, the sweetest thing you ever said to me. I, you know, I always knew. I was such a war crush. I thought I had no idea, but like, honestly, I like starting to like you, Pan. As, as you say the word "bark" out loud, Rusty goes, "Bark, bark, bark, bark," uh, in a very sharp loud tone that he normally uses because he doesn't really have a volume control on his voice box and it, it echoes through the roller dome oh, <laughs> oh. Rusty. Uh, and and as that sharp bark bark kind of goes through everybody kind of goes oh <laughs> and you still hear the music kind of beaten over the intercom systems but the movement you are hearing in the distance stops. Oh dear. <laughs> Rusty scared it again. You really should put a sound dial on him. Kind of volume I've been trying to find one, all right? Just put a mute button for his remote control. <laughs> At least don't leave him on the 11. He only goes to 11. <laughs> there's, there's only one selection for his voice box and it's I 11 I don't even I didn't even know that was a thing <laughs> I lean over to uh Azu it wasn't I just scribbled another one next to the one <laughs> ludicrous volume so you're staring into the old remnants of this the roller domes bar basically it's been destroyed uh, the furniture is broken and tipped over the bottles smashed there's broken glass that crunches under your feet as you enter the room uh, very loudly crunches under your feet 
and you realize looking down that there's glass scattered everywhere like more than there should be in fact and it's kind of odd i mean you guys have seen wrecked and ruined places and you've seen wrecked and ruined bars most likely but there's only so much glassware that was there to begin with and only so much that right. wasn't ground into sand long ago there is broken glass all over the place in fact pan you're a little hesitant to walk in with your you know your bare foot pads because you don't want to get your little tootsies mm. cut I, I jump on the back of Zach. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he he like rocks for a little bit in surprise, then realizes what you're doing and is like totally on board for this. <laughs> <laughs> I now have a cat pack. <laughs> like, okay, Z Zach, like jock knucklehead that he is, has always dreamed of riding a tiger, and now a tiger is riding him. This is like a tiger on a tank. <laughs> tiger on a tank. Tiger tank. Tiger tank. <laughs> tiger tank formation. <laughs> tiger tank formation. Yeah, so... This is like a Power Ranger, but like worse. <laughs> so, as you guys are kind of crunching through the glass and, and looking around, you see across the bar I don't, but <laughs> we'll pretend. <laughs> well, some of you do. A strange looking woman step out of the shadows. She's got big, afroed, curly, purple hair and a strange gleam in her eyes. And she's dressed in violets and pinks with rhinestones all over her. And these tight purple and black tiger striped spandex pants and wearing roller skates. Her eyes twinkle in the darkness as she looks you over. It's the lady that talks out of Rusty. <laughs> Jackie just kind of like, she, all she sees is like the twinkling in the darkness. She's like, what in the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> Smells Dear purple. Gosh, she must come from a time period where before they did, invented any color other than purple. <laughs> Well, at least it's not your least favorite color. <laughs> um. So the, the woman <clears throat> takes a step forward, still looking you over. I'm gonna have Rusty move forward. Actually, there we go. That's a little better. <laughs> Good evening, uh. loyal subjects of the wasteland. Right. Who are you, lady? You guys hear this. Teehee! And she disappears. <laughs> Good to meet you, Teehee. I'm in Derby! Is her name Teehee or is that a laugh? <laughs> no, she, it was a little Teehee, and then she I, vanished. I <laughs> Oh, I, I can get my voice really high. Bad. Hold on. Tee -hee. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> that was awful. I'm never doing that again. <laughs> Tee -hee. Jackie's just like, God damn it, it's one of those haunted roller derbies. <laughs> <laughs> Most roller derbies are haunted. Sorority babes in the slime ball bolorama. <laughs> I was hoping to find one that wasn't haunted. All right. <laughs> <laughs> By haunt, did I generally mean just radioactive as shit? <laughs> so as you move through the bar, once again the glass crunching under your feet, the the strange memory of this weird purple toned woman in your minds. Looking around, you don't really see anything still intact. Sadly. You can kind of smell that faint, sour, musty odor of old, rotten beer and, and spilled liquor that's gone bad and, and been sitting for way too long. And it's Jackie just like... A... Is, that, is, that, <laughs> is, that, is this in any way appetizing to you? It's everything I approved in me. <laughs> it smells delicious. <laughs> oh. <laughs> The smell of memory, son. It smells good. 
Are you still carrying Zach, the the dead dog person? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Zach just feels sad because he can't actually smell it and doesn't smell like alcohol at the least. To him. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jeez. Dice are not on my side tonight. I think that's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys hear this crunch, crunch, crunch as you see that same woman kind of disappear around the corner down here running. Well, again, I didn't see shit. <laughs> Those of you I who heard can. It. Those of you who can. <laughs> Jack, he's like, what the fuck was that? It's that lady again. The one that looks like she smells bad. <laughs> Would I feel anything with empathy from her? Uh, give me your power roll. Is it still one d hundred? D hundred plus your uh, uh, plus that six or your your mental or your mutation score? The mutation score. Oh, it's not gonna help me. No, oh, it'll be all right anyway. Uh, your mutation score it should be more than minus one. I've got an 8. I didn't roll good stats. Oh, no, no. You add your mutation score to your roll. Oh. Then that would have been a 6, I guess. Yes. That would have been a, a 100, basically. <laughs> we can call it that. We'll call it that. No, that, that's an instant red. You rolled very good. Um, you're only sensing one individual in the building outside of your, your immediate group. And they appear to have run into this room. That's where yeah. they are now. Um, yeah, I'm going to direct uh, Zach in that direction. You're getting the sense of psychotic excitement. Oh, boy. <laughs> There's a very excited thing in that direction. I'm going to hold Zach's head and, like, direct him. To <laughs> oh, she's excited? Not again. <laughs> I, 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 I allow him to steer me <laughs> just like oh, well, well, watch out get corner uh, the door is is there a door she ran this way okay yes <laughs> everyone's carefully making their way down the hallway are you, you don't see much are you picking your feet moving quietly or uh i mean i don't think oh. rusty has the capability of moving quietly i don't know if zach <laughs> does yeah it is literally clunk, clunk, clunk. Okay. <laughs> like it is he cannot he cannot sneak up on anything to save his life <laughs> not on concrete at least jackie did try she did she tried so there is a yep. door here as you're walking by you can oh. see it Azu was going to try and be quiet, but <laughs> Zach was just like, "Never mind." Never. Mind. <laughs> hey, 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 buddy, do you, do you want to like run ahead of me or something? Like I've got your yep. back. If something comes up ahead of you. you <laughs> he holds out his arm. Crossbow unfolds. Fires against the wall. You've never hit anything with that. Oops. <laughs> Oops. That's a like lie. I kicked the shit out of that wall just now. There. I've been keeping a tally. You've never hit anything with that. <laughs> There's a loading sound of another crossbow bolt in his arm as he like stows it. <laughs> would you? Would you guys want to open the door? Or? Um. Yeah, I'd say so. Just, just, just. Okay. Who's pushing the door open? Just brave enough to. If nobody else does it, Pan would go do it. All these young for wasting time. So, Pan opens the door. Inside, you see. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Light. <gasps> Roller derby. <laughs> you see a large flat rounded area uh, with some some banks along the edges giving it its oval shape the walls are covered in graffiti the windows are all shattered and, and glassless long ago the roof has fallen in there's a lot of clutter on the floor but there appears to be a 
a clean track around the outer edges of this floored area. What's even Hold stranger, that. what's even stranger is you see the woman. Kraken kind of like peeks in. This is probably like her version of peeking in. Uh, 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 huh? See multiple shiny women? Jackie is like, <laughs> she's squinting. She's like, what in tar? What the hell? Why is it so bright? So you see this this purple haired, crazy dressed woman glowing brightly with this strange illumination like sparkles and dazzles, like the rhinestones on her jacket are just illuminating the whole room. And she's moving and bopping along with the music, all six of them moving in a big circle around this track, just bebopping as they go looking at you all with this horrible, malicious smile. And as you enter the room, Jackie, the closest one to you whisks by, blows you a kiss and winks, and slaps her ass as she walks, as she skates away, almost as if taunting you. Jackie just kind of like, what? <laughs> she kind of looks back, is that what people used to do for flirting? <laughs> <laughs> it does seem ritualistic. Yeah, but how, what, how the hell did she do? Oh, how is she so many people at once? Perhaps she's on Draco. Maybe we are. <laughs> I don't remember. Well, actually, no, I, I can't say that. We did eat the food from that rat. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I didn't eat any of that food and I'm still seeing all of this <laughs> well you see there we go that is that is that is confirmation course, that I am not currently drugged of course I see uh, I see visual illusions all the time so <laughs> well if we're all seeing the same thing it's not a visual halluc hallucination hun so as you're kind of standing there watching this strange spectacle of, of this woman skating around on her roller skates around this rink, bebopping along with the music. Um, the next round kind of comes along, uh, you know, as they're spinning around. And this one kind of goes like this with her hands at you as she skates by. Like, like what? We can't see you. Oh, you can't see me? I'm sorry. She, she puts no. her hands on her cheeks like, oh. <laughs> And then blows a kiss as she goes by. And as she does, there is a burst of blinding light that issues oh, from her face. <laughs> Ooh, I finally rolled good, everybody! Yay! No. <laughs> I finally That's rolled good. That's not what we good. want. <laughs> <laughs> this is where uh, all of our eyes are bleeding except for Zach because... Uh, five That's all good. Works, right? So, uh. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, good news. I think I found that infrared. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, let's see. Azu's still out in the hall. So, Azu, you're not going to get hit by this. Uh, Pan, Jackie, Zach, I need Ouch. you to make an intelligence save. <laughs> How do I do that? Oh, no. 1d100 plus intelligence? That's correct. Is that? Okay, cool. That sounds right. <laughs> 66 oh. for pan. Okay, I'm just gonna. I think I actually don't technically have a penalty to it. If it's zero, no, there's no penalty. No, oh, no, I have the negative hell one. Hell you! <laughs> Look at Jackie go. She is so intelligent. Oh no! <laughs> oh, oh, Zach. I. Oh. That's about right. So. <laughs> 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 that is the lowest you could have possibly gotten. Zero. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, so uh, the, the, <laughs> the shock of, of man. <laughs> the shock of blinding light goes out. Pan, you kind of you know, that guttural lizard brain part of you just roars out because it hurts your eyes really bad. Um, I start scratching in front of me. <laughs> uh, let's see. You, you're gonna take three points of damage. Um, and you are blinded. 
you can't see. Uh, oh. Right <laughs> Jackie, you you see it coming. You're like, I don't think so. <laughs> She's just like she, she has like a duster on. She just kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> she does the Batman that. with her duster. No. Yeah. <laughs> but you manage to block out the light as it comes across. Zach. Oh. If you really boy. did just kind of finally figure out, hey, if I put this and this together, it'll engage this fuck. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> he finally did something smart, but at the same time did something smart. Like, the low light vision just in time to get blinded. <laughs> so yeah, it hits you uh, extra hard. So you'll take. <laughs> He finally figured out night vision. Yeah, you, you take six damage, and you are oh. blinded. Oh. <laughs> and with that, we're going to go into initiative. <laughs> this is great. This is great. So uh, we'll, we'll stick with Azu for your your group, right? Highest. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. I've got a five, Azu. What you got on a d6 plus your your mod? Three. <laughs> three. All right. So, Gloomadonna is on a roll. <laughs> Don't ever do that again. Gloomadonna. <laughs> Gloomadonna is on a roll. Yeah, you can't do this to us. <laughs> Her name is Tee. 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 <laughs> So yes, these all six of them are still s skating around the the outer edge of this track, just be bopping around, grinning at you maliciously. Of course, Jackie, you're really the only one that can see that. Uh, As you can kind of peek in and maybe see a little bit. Rusty's just in the back going, "Bark, bark, bark," telling you that you're in danger. <laughs> what is it, boy? <laughs> Jackie tilts back. Thank you, Rusty. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> so let's do it again. Uh, ooh. Uh, Jackie, give me another save. <laughs> oh, oh Lord. Okay. Well, actually, actually, you know what? That's not fair. We're going out of the combat order. My apologies. Movement first, right? Right. Oh, yes. So we're gonna go. <laughs> bump, bump, oh, they're just bump, going around in a circle. Okay. Bump. 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 Okay. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so uh, since since she won, obviously she'll go first with her movement. Do you have any okay. movements? Or wait, no. Um, or, do you want to call your action? I'm sorry. Right. Um, Jackie is definitely gonna get her shotgun ready. Just. <laughs> Okay. You know, going um, for an attack. Yeah, and I can shoot one of them from here anyway, right? Yeah, you'll be yeah, able to pull I'm that gonna, off. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do that. Okay, so that'll be your action. Yeah. Uh, Pan. Uh, well, Pan knows somewhere. There's only one of her, so he would focus in, try to figure out which one's the real one of the group. Okay, and you're gonna try and use smell or empathy. Empathy. Combination okay. of both. We're going to put you in for a mental attack, basically, is what we'll count this as. So when we get to that round, that's when you'll act. Sounds uh, good. Zach, what about you? Uh, I think Zach is going to stagger back. Um, and the, the shock to his mind causing him to reel actually knocks him back out of control of the fungus that he's in. And the entire automaton suddenly just gets a shambles, shut down, and collapse to the ground <laughs> as if nothing was controlling it. I like it. Yeah, that's, the that's light good. in his eye just... <laughs> I like it. Zach has <laughs> lost control of the fungus for a moment. He's out of commission for this round. That's perfect. That, I, that, that, that suits the, the, uh, the disadvantage for this round. That's perfect. All right. Uh, Azu, what about you? Out in the hallway. Steps um, over the machine. <laughs> yeah, I, I step over Zach, um, and I'm I move to the doorway. I'm looking very specifically for a light source. Is there something in this room 
um, besides, well, Rusty and Zach are behind me now. Is there anything in this room besides the woman that is giving off light in here? There's a disco ball in the center of the room that's damaged and missing a lot of pieces, but it's refracting a lot of light. Okay, well then I would like to take aim and fire an arrow at said disco ball for my turn. Okay, that'll work. Okay. And her action is going to be to let loose another blast of light, uh, which I've already uh, kind of spoiled that surprise. Yeah. I don't think I don't think I can make that roll twice. Well, I'm, I'm going to re-roll. That's a negative ghost rider. <laughs> no, I, I'm going to re-roll too, so because I, I rolled out of turn. Okay. So I'm going to be very nice and re-roll. Okay. So, yeah, I, so I should note, there is an action I'd like Zach to take, but um, it's more of a reactive action that he's going to be doing. Okay. Activating one of his powers. All right. Well, is it uh, subconscious or conscious? Uh, it's going to be a subconscious as something else is taking control of the bot, of the fungus, essentially. Okay, so that the very last step of this round, we'll, we'll get into the resolution of uh, extraneous actions. Okay. All right, so we're going to resolve the mental attacks. She'll go first with hers. Uh, she's going to roll 32. Much better. Am I allowed to roll again? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Let's keep it fair and balanced. There we go. Look at that. All right, so Pan, good, good. Uh, you're already hit. So you're already blinded, so this, oh. it won't affect you. Uh, Azu, give me a roll as well, since you're moved in. Well, this is my intelligence save. Intelligence save. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> you got this. You got this. To add to that, so. Look at that. My goodness. Hey, not bad. My goodness. Um, that's just terrible. <laughs> that's just terrible. All you guys rolling high. I quit. No. <laughs> so you said you were gonna try to kill us. The, the blast. <laughs> the, no, the the blast comes out, and you guys. I guess you're kind of expecting it now. You're like, oh no, not again. So Jackie pulls up her duster again, Batman style. Azu <laughs> like closes his eyelids sideways or whatever. However that works. <laughs> click, click. <laughs> I don't know. Y your call on that one. <laughs> My 42 eyelids all closed at the same time. <laughs> it's like the aperture of a camera. <laughs> but yeah, you managed to block out the blinding light uh, just in time uh, as her attack goes off. Okay, Pan. Give me your power roll, please. All right. Yes, use some empty. <laughs> the power of how does this make you feel? <laughs> so, 54? 54. All right. Ah. She's managing to avoid your ability. Somehow. It's as if. You, you, you sense that there's still one. You, you've got that much. But as far right. as pinpointing her, there's so much movement and so much light and you're blindest, you know, you're messing with you. You just can't quite pin her down. There's only one. I just don't know which one. Good to know. Jackie, start shooting. <laughs> <laughs> she cocks her gun. I'm on it, darling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, uh, Jackie? Hell yeah. There, that, there it is. <laughs> is that I knew a, I was going to roll low. Is, is that plus your dex mod? Or you don't I don't have, have a plus anything. Okay, no, that's mod. that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. So you blast uh, at this one, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, bam! Um, you strike it. Oh, cool. But it's like the blast just goes right through it. 
attack. He's like, it ain't that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, any Fox other run again for the next one that comes around? <laughs> <laughs> any other uh, ranged attacks? Uh, I don't know if my my attack against the disco ball counts as an attack. Yeah, it does. It does. You can go ahead and make your attack. Hey, nice. Solid. So yeah, your arrow smashes hard into it. Just bam, crash, and you you see the thing just shake and stop turning and spin and precariously twist around a couple times before you hear a loud snap and it just hurtles down and hits the floor crash and bits of glass and 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 wood and, and metal go scattering everywhere and all six of the images stop look at the disco ball and look at you and go hey in unison <laughs> i think you made her mad <laughs> Party foul. Party foul. He broke the disco ball. You know how hard it is to get one of those in the apocalypse? <laughs> Disco's dead. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> now you really made her mad. All right. Oh, uh oh. All right. So, Zach, what was it you oh. were trying to activate? Well, uh, the many of the other intelligences within Zach's fungi, fungal body or true fungal self, really, uh, are not intelligent enough to be able to operate a robot. But they can do something else. I'd like to use my reanimation symbiosis. Okay. Okay. I happen to be carrying around a dog man. Oh, this is boy. True. <laughs> this is why I figured that was why. <laughs> All right, give me your, your power roll. Okay. Uh, I guess I gotta click my token. Well, Submit. Then... Did it roll something? Oh no, no, you have to just just roll a d100 plus your oh, mutation, okay. your mutation score. And the what's the score? Is it? It should be a number on on the description block at the very bottom. Is it the thing that says ten? Here, let me pull you up real quick. I'll help you. Probably. Remember the description. Yeah, yes. the bottom of the description. Yeah, in the okay. description. Animation. Yeah, 10. So add 10 to your D100. Yeah. Whew. 20. Wow. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> uh, 20. So, yeah, you're. It, it twitches. It twitches, and you hear this. But doesn't quite kick off enough, and it's probably just because of the state that you're in. To be fair, thank you, Christy Fish. Thank you for the sub. Yeah. But yeah, it's thank you, it, it's probably just because of the state you're in, though. Like you, even okay. that little ghost self that's in there still. It's like, yeah, this is yeah, this is just this, this is horrible. <laughs> but could I bring it back just enough that the dog man returns to life, like as a head? <laughs> and, and, and people are flickering back out. <laughs> I, I tell you what, you no. Know, basically, you're two points away from a critical fail on this roll. Ah. So I'm gonna say the head won't come back, but instead, its bowels and bladder let loose. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody suddenly just gets hit with this horrible smell. From I out smell in the new things. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> what is that smell? She looks back. I out. think Zach had an accident. <laughs> I think Zach. So that'll that'll bring us back around. Um, they're going to shift in movement once again. <laughs> Another one in my range. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to declare. I'm going to declare my action again as a uh, mental attack once more. Uh, Jackie, are you 
firing the she, scatter gun. She's cocking the scatter gun and trying again. She's like, I'm gonna get one of you. <laughs> right. Pan, you're Hit. still blind. I'm, if I'm still blind, I'm still gonna try to use my empathy skills. Okay, going for that again. Azu? Yeah. Um. Hmm. I made him mad. I'm just gonna take a step back. Okay. And... Into the piss and shit. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> and see if if any of them come out after me. Okay. All right. So that'll be your move, uh, Zach. You're coming back this round. Just... Okay. I I think he's still going to reanimation protocol just this one uh, one more time okay. as he's slowly booting up. We'll, we'll count that as a mental attack this round. So you'll go during that phase. Okay. All right. So the movement's done. Mental attacks begin. She'll go with hers first. Nah. Uh, Jackie, this is just you this time. Yay. Oh. Oh, Lord. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. So that's... Oh! <laughs> that was very close. Because I didn't, I didn't add the mutation she score into my didn't roll. Make it. No, she she didn't make it. I got you. Oh. Because okay. yeah. uh, her mutation score is it adds twelve to that. Shit. <laughs> so yeah, you you tried again. You were trying to time it. But this time she just she clipped you. Um, it wasn't a, a tremendous success or anything. Uh, it did blind you. Uh, you'll take two. Yeah, two damage. From the blast, uh, you are blinded. Ow. What the hell? Where is my health? Where did I put that? Oh, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's She's still at, the same. Uh, Sixty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you have a lot of hit points. Don't worry. Yeah. Oh, negative. I mean, she probably has a lot of hit points too. Oh yeah, they they all do. <laughs> all right, so. Mental attacks. Uh, we got Pan. Yep. Let's Coming see that up. empathy roll. And... Sixty-eight. Ooh. Oh, that's much better. Let's see here. Ooh. Okay. Pan, you've got her pegged, but you can't see. <laughs> I can't see. So All right. She's somewhere on the far side of the room. Okay. Somewhere in this area. <laughs> she's on the opposite side. But she's moving. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> They're all moving. <laughs> but you, you've got her pegged. You've got her pegged. All right. When you can see again. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, indeed. It's You'll over. be pouncing around. <laughs> it's all right. Uh, Zach, reanimation right. protocol. Let's see what you got. Okay. Hey! Ooh, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Blam. What the crit? <laughs> so, from in the hall, you guys hear this. That's <laughs> the, the arc stands up. Z you have a uh, zombie I, pet. I was, you know, I had a wheel here, like, of a bunch of random, a hundred random animals to see what sort of intelligence is possessing it right now. But with 101, I think there's enough that the fungus is able to just say, go forward, dog man. You've been brought back to life for a time to fight something. <laughs> Get him. So let me, let me so, see something here. About that, I think. I, I think you have to maintain uh, touch with it, though, right? Yes. Okay. I imagine it has something of a leash, but like I'm not sure how long that leash is actually. So maybe like I don't think it'd be any further than like two tiles. Yeah, at most. Okay. Oh, we we can work with that. That's fine. All right. So here, let me. Uh... There he is. There's the arc. <laughs> there, there. Is. Back. Our good friend. There's the arc. Um, I'm gonna let you have control of this token. Nice. There you go. You should be able to move it around now. So, 
he'll go on your turn next round. Okay. All right. All right, so that's the mental. I believe we are... Jackie, do you want to try and aim and fire blind, or...? You know what? At this point, she's she's got to hit something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fire no, blind. She's, she's crazy enough to do that. 89, that's not too bad, though. I'm not surprised. Talk about panic at the disco. <laughs> um, blam! Nobody who can see really can tell if you hit anything. <laughs> yeah, I get, I just based off of what she can hear, though, it doesn't sound like it hit a bodily. No, you did not hear a body hit the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Still, right. you you felt very confident that you were aiming exactly like you were mentally like, okay, moving this fast at this rate at this angle, like math equations floating in front of your blind eyes. Blam! <laughs> she's so smart, but she's blind as fuck right now. She's like, I'm pretty sure it's this way. <laughs> she got the Rudy Shooty Point and Shooty uh, down to a T. <laughs> All right, so, uh, Azu, what about you? <laughs> exactly, Flesh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> What you got, Azu? Uh, if she hasn't come out, I'm staying right here. She has not come out. You goddamn coward. <laughs> <laughs> He's being smart. <laughs> I don't want to be blind. He's, He's the, the only, only one not blind. Right now. <laughs> All right. I mean, so... <laughs> there's, a, there, there's a question whether we need to have this fight or not. <laughs> I think this fight's happening. <laughs> I mean, it's happening either way. You guys Listen, did bar the door. Eventually, she's going to hit one of them that's right, okay? <laughs> and you, you guys did bar the door on your way. I'm not sure you could find your way out blind. <laughs> that is, that is just a bit of that. All right, so uh, as he's hanging back. All right, so we'll, we'll come back around. Uh, another round of movement. All right. She. Uh, she's going to use a mental ability this round. Calling my action. Okay. okay. I wonder <laughs> what it could be. <laughs> I wonder. Is it more blinding light? Um, uh. Jackie's going to just continue. Just blam. She's going to go for this one now because she already hit that one. She's pretty sure that's not a person, so she's gonna go for this one. She's gonna blind I fire. Mean, uh, yeah, unless there's... How many rounds does it take for her to not be blind anymore? <laughs> uh, well, I can't tell you. It makes it scarier I... if you don't know. Am I still blind? I mean, yes. honestly, she... It, it, she's like, damn these fucking light floaties. I can't see anything. <laughs> Loaders. Yeah, but no, she's gonna she, she's gonna blind fire again. I mean, if it's like in this direction, like okay. it's gotta hit something. So blind fire, it is. Okay. Yep. Uh, Azu, anything for you? I'm just kind of watching this comically play out at this point. Like no one's really <laughs> hurt. I'm just kind of I'm gonna I'm gonna feel out the situation and see how long it goes. Okay, you're playing oh it safe. God. All right. Uh, Pan would actually wander a little bit forward. Okay. Perhaps, yeah. He's going to wander into the, the roller skater floor. He, he still thinks he's too far away to jump on, but he wants to get closer. So he's ready for it. All right. Uh, Zach? Uh, Zach, like, the, the flickering of his uh, light finally solidifies for a moment, and the body starts, like, rolling up its shoulders and starts standing back up and uh he is going to try to command the dog to close its eyes smell the air and guide uh jackie's gun towards the smell okay <laughs> 
You're gonna have a little bit of trouble initializing the extrasensory abilities, like, because <laughs> he is still dead. <laughs> uh, and but, probably has a nose full of blood. Yeah, but... <laughs> it, it was it was a good shot, and this is the one that got shot through the back of the head too. <laughs> um, Great. <laughs> so yeah, it, it steps forward, kind of. You guys hear it kind of smack into the door jam and and then step into the room. <laughs> Um, there he goes. Like yeah. one broke, like it is limping like a zombie. <laughs> Dog bones. Um. <laughs> it is unfor. It is painfully sentient throughout this whole process. Jack is like, you didn't bring it back, did you? I can hear it. I did. I can, I can hear it. I can smell I it. I didn't mean to bring it back. It, it's still got like doo doo stuffed in its tail and urine running down its leg. <laughs> that's that bell, does, that's not an excuse. That just makes it worse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an I'm an abomination against nature. What can I say? I didn't ask to be brought back either. <laughs> Meanwhile, Azu's in the back. Oh, de toilet. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever he had for dinner, it smells good. <laughs> no, can you shut up back there? <laughs> All right, so uh, here we go. Uh, movement rounds done. Mental attacks come next. Or Fuck. not always. Well, attacks. I'm already blind, so. <laughs> oh, look at that. Not so good. So, <laughs> the reverse happens and it goes dark. <laughs> oh. And granted, you can't see this, but. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wish I could, man. <laughs> you know what the worst part about this is? The part that really hurts? I said, close my eyes and then sniff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, as you from where you're standing, you see the lights drastically fade from within. Okay. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Rusty's outside. Bark! 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 <laughs> We're oh the intruders, Rusty. <laughs> <laughs> <It's us. laughs> All right, so. Uh, any other mental abilities going off this round? I don't think so. No? Okay. Then we go into okay. the physical. Would, would attempting to sniff be a mental ability? Something there? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think the sniff's going to work. You can't. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, well, I mean, Pan could sniff. Pan's got I, the if, tiger smells. I mean, I'm still technically wandering between two of them, so I could sniff because I'm still assuming there's one ear and yeah. One you, ear. you guys, for all you know, they're all still there. Yeah. Yeah. Let's say they're all. She's all super fucking blind right now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Jackie. Um, Jackie doesn't realize there's something there, so she's gonna <laughs> shoot fire that way. All right, <laughs> fire I for mean, me. Go ahead and I roll. Can, I can I can roll, but <laughs> this is fifty one. I I definitely shoot that. Blam! I said far <laughs> side of the room. Where are you shooting? <laughs> oh what, wow, that was a really good shot, Jackie. You got like all of them, I think. Except for one. <laughs> uh, blam! All right. So another another report of of the scatter gun goes off. You hear the pellets hitting the wood and 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 concrete, but you don't hear the telltale sound of a body falling at the end. Yeah. So um, Jackie's so over here, like, all right, that's not that one either. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, Azu, what about you? You've held your action. You could still now. Now that the lights dimmed, I'm gonna step down into this room. Okay. Are we done with this farce, ma'am? Are you saying that to her? Yeah, I'm, I'm yelling across the room. There's only one of you left now. You're a bit outnumbered. <laughs> she flicks you a, a wicked smile. Kind of lulls her tongue across her upper lip. 
and then holds up her fingers in the universal anti-peace sign. <laughs> oh, she's giving us the middle finger. Real bitch. <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> yeah, what was she doing? She's making sexual advances upon us. I don't know what it means. That's what she's been doing the whole time. <laughs> this yeah, was a mating area. It seems to be initiating some sort of mating ritual. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not interested. <laughs> okay, I, like I, I know I'm not the brightest all the time, but like, <laughs> come on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do this real good. All right. <laughs> all right. All right. Anything else for you, Ezra? Um. I mean, if she go flip me the bird, I'm gonna try and see her. Go uh, for it. I don't go for know it. If my bow has enough range, are we still? What's the range on your bow? It's 25? Yeah, you, uh, you're good. Okay. It's 25 meters. Ah, okay. So that, that does make a difference. Listen yeah. 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 Interlopers, as the harmonies unfold, each note carries a message. A oh! Message. Now that time it did roll. That wasn't that cheap. <laughs> that there. one, that yeah. one is 100. Oh! oh holy crit! <laughs> holy crit! <laughs> All right. That is solid. You nailed her. My goodness. So, that's times five damage. Oh, 50. 50. <laughs> you nailed her. Solid. My God. Wow. Okay. As you... <laughs> As you rares back that bow... And says, oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> and plugs her directly between the fingers right into the middle of her forehead. The back of the arrow shoots out the back of her head as the thing just sits there. The wheels of her roller skates fly out from under her, and she hits the ground hard. Back of her head nails the floor, and the arrow just shoots out the front with a spurt of blood. And she goes, huh? Uh, and dies. <laughs> Haki's like, she, of course, she still can't see. She's just like, what happened? <laughs> you got her. <laughs> Pen would I know now open. Fucking get her. <laughs> Pen would now open his third eyes on his tail to take a look around. Yeah, he got her. You know? Oh, great. I f completely forgot about that, but that... I did it. I was just waiting for them to be closer so I could like that do is something about totally it. something you could have done during the whole thing. It's just open that extra eye. <laughs> but I still see you. <laughs> but that, I knew she was. She was too. I couldn't walk all the way over there to grapple her. <laughs> Hiding my time. That was a solid hit, Azu. That was a one-shot kill. <laughs> so uh, about six seven minutes passes as you guys kind of rub your eyes and feel around and awkwardly touch one another by accident from time to time yeah. um, she touches it Jackie manages to touch like the dog and she just feels like drool and blood like, oh fuck <laughs> as you take a shower no, 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 don't stop don't stop that's actually really comfortable <laughs> Pan's no, gonna go. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Zach made it oh. weird. <laughs> you, 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 you just scratched behind the ear. No, wait, I forgot. I should probably let this thing die again. Uh... Please let it die and let it stay dead. <laughs> he, like, jer he like jerks the tendril like connected to the base of its skull through the wound that it had and just, like, shakes it a little bit until it falls loose. <laughs> The dog man falls limp on the floor. Your, your vision Jackie, does eventually all come back in about six, seven minutes. Jackie gags when she witnesses this horrific <laughs> event. Oh, but I yeah. think I have some of his memories. Uh, mm -hmm. A lot of butt sniffing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's awful. It's awful. Well, it depends. I mean, Azu might like that. But <laughs> It's a lovely bouquet. The sense are so <laughs> intricate. I don't understand. <laughs> but yeah, oh, uh... you, you see the woman 
in in this horrible state that as you left her in across the the rink. That's right. We should go lose her. Um. She does appear to be quite dead. Yeah. Take a sniff. If there, she's holding anything, could be helpful for us. Are We've you, been told you, there's artifacts. Are you searching the the corpse? Is that what you're doing? Yes. <laughs> Jackie is also searching, uh, mostly for anything that is seemingly out of the, like, see, interesting for her. So any kind of like tech that might be on her, because her hair is purple. Like, how the fuck does that happen <laughs> naturally? Well, actually, it's it's Gamma World. Never mind. <laughs> Purple's the more the most natural hair color you can have. That is, that is true, and her hair is like ginger as fuck. So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you're, you're searching her. Um, underneath, well, first off, I'll say that she has a switchblade on her. Oh. Uh, so if you want the switchblade, you're welcome to take it. <laughs> I, I can add it to my knife collection. Your knife collection. Yeah, Jackie gives up the pan. A, a, a tiger <laughs> with a knife collection. Call, they want their mall toys back. <laughs> <laughs> mall ninja. Um, so, you, you're digging around oh. and you realize that the hair, the purple afroed hair, is not real. Oh. It, it's a wig. <laughs> Uh, pulling it back, you realize that she's wearing a very strange-looking contraption underneath the wig uh, on her bald head. Uh, this poor mutant you that you've murdered wonders. in her home. <laughs> Sorry, that's you terrible. Started it. <laughs> she did start yeah, she it. Started You're acting like it's not like it's our fault. Like, clearly, it's not. I didn't do it. <laughs> I try to question the logistic of doing this. Um. So it's a very strange, it covers her head. It's like this glass or plastic kind of covering with these little electrodes and wires and, and pieces that kind of cover up the ears uh, Jack attached to a small. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's attached to a small power supply um, that you can tell like a, a chemical cell battery, perhaps it's hard to say without taking it apart. But uh, oh, I'm very debated on on having of of having either Jackie or somebody else cut her head off so that she can take it with her. <laughs> oh, you can take the device. So. <laughs> oh, okay, good. It, it's I removable. It was, like, completely. Okay, so yeah, she removes the device then, okay. and she, she so she can study it. I thought it was like like. I'm just gonna connected cut her head to off. her skull like a like cyberpunky. Jackie like, getting ready removable. to do like a. Was it Jason and the Argonauts, where he just keeps Medusa's head in a bag, where she just got this decapitated skull that she pulls out to use as a flashlight? Pan would have been fine with that. <laughs> she didn't talk. We, we're not sure she could talk, so she might be free. So he was just taunting I, us by butt slaps and middle finger pulling. Yeah, exactly. I, I don't. I don't think I need that crazy in my head. So I'm not interested. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that fail I made was her trying to turn herself invisible. <laughs> oh, daisies. So, uh, no, that worked in your favor. So, would you like to try and examine the artifact? Oh, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, she's definitely so going to try and examine it. There's a flow to this. So, here's what we're going to do. Are you ready? Yeah, uh, sure. <laughs> roll a d20 for me as you pick up this strange contraption. And begin D20, to kind of just, just D20? Just D20. Okay. 18. We're off to a solid start. All right. No. So from here on out, we're going to add your intelligence modifier to these rolls, okay? Hey. <laughs> um, and you're also tech three, so we're going to have a slight bonus for that too. So roll another D20. Your, your first... You're, you're kind of figuring out how everything is connected together. It's starting to make sense. You can see the, the path of the, electronitry, the electronics and the circuitry. So go ahead and roll another d20 plus mod. Okay, so it would just be plus three? Yeah. yeah. Okay. 17, my goodness. All right. 
you smart cookie. <laughs> so yeah, you've definitely determined it is, it is certainly a chemical cell, and the electrodes actually attach to the surface of the scalp through the hair, or the lack of, in her case, obviously. Give me another roll. D20 plus 3? Mm-hmm. Okay. 18 again. <laughs> oh my lord, is it plus 3 or without the yeah. plus 3? No, it's with plus 3. Okay, so 18 again. Okay, you're determining that at this point now, like you're actually getting some details. Um, goodness. Your rolls are... He's over here like, I wasn't expecting you to roll this high, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody not, was, that's not what you usually do. It's not I fair. know. <laughs> actually, that's not true. I usually roll really well on anything but combat, so... <laughs> fair. So, at this point, you can tell that it, now, this is a little bit beyond you, but you've read in, in, in manuals and in, in old world documents in the past that there was this neuroengineering science, this cutting edge science in the old world where they actually used electrodes and devices like this to stimulate specific areas of the brain. So give me another roll. Okay. There it is, 13. 13? Yep. Disappointing you. No, no, we're, we're still good. We're still good. Okay, great. Awesome. <laughs> uh, once more, you, you're starting to feel like this has an intuitive control panel that you find on the side uh, that allows a holographic display interface to display for the wearer um, and, and, and enabling them to navigate through various settings and functionalities. You feel like if you put it on at this point, you could actually interface with this holographic display and get further in. Jackie is that crazy. Yeah, she's gonna try it. She's gonna do it. All right, give me another roll. All right, D20 plus three. Yeah, that's six. Six. Fuck. All right. Are you sure you want to do that? Well, we tested it. I knew my luck was gonna run out. <laughs> that's all right. So, so give me one more D20 roll. Nine. Okay. All right. So you've done something accidentally, as you you were like, "Oh, holographic display panels and 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 menus of functionality," and you got all excited and started going through it. And it actually interacts with your eyes, so your eyes are actively selecting options based upon the intensity that you look at them. Unfortunately, it's in Chinese now. <laughs> 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 mess up the language selections. <laughs> Zach is sitting on uh, the side of the roller rink, and it's a weird, it's a weird position because he's actually like sitting down on the side of a roller rink, something actually big enough for him to just kind of sit at the edge of. And it's a very, it's a weirdly human expression from a robot that does not have a exactly humanoid form <laughs> but it's it's a very familiar position to him as he he watches Jackie kind of toy around with electronics and whatnot and he's just kind of used to sit on this edge of her table just <laughs> kind of staring at her like like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and he sees the moment of like frustration or confusion or something I imagine go across Jackie's face yeah she kind of has this like you can tell Zach would tell that like when her like when her nostrils flare a little bit, she kind of like <laughs> puffs out of her nose and she like her brows furrow that something went wrong. <laughs> it's so uh, good. She wasn't expecting it to, and then she. Uh, has to uh, try and, Jackie, like, what'd you do? <laughs> Jack is like, I, I put it in Chinese. <laughs> Sorry, no, I only I, speak why? French. <laughs> so. Well, so Go ahead if you hey, want to continue. Hey, you're, you're a words guy. Do you know how to fix it? <laughs> I can maybe try, but Chinese is very different from other languages. <laughs> very. Yeah, so give me another right. D20. Plus three? Sure, sure. Yeah, you still have that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, give me another D20. Oh, no. I'm going to roll in that one. You watch. <laughs> 12, 12. We're doing better. We're, we'll say one more D20. One more D20. You're, you're navigating it. 16, 16. All right. Keep going. Keep going. 
keep going. 17. Yeah, 17. All right, yes. You're getting it. You're getting it. One more roll. One more roll. There are metal hand claps. <laughs> <laughs> you figure it out. You figure it out. Now you finally checking. get it back into English. <laughs> now, now Zach can see the the kind of like the the white in the eyes and the, the the smile on her face as she's like figuring this out. I'm like I got it. <laughs> so here's what it looks like, everyone. The device. Oh, her hair still puts in it nice. <laughs> yes, um, it's on a mannequin head for display purposes. Uh, Jackie, you should have the actual full item in your journal now, as far as what Ooh. this does. This is an item called the Memory Amplifier. And you have a sneaking Ooh. suspicion that this is indeed one of the artifacts Elon G. Muskrat was referring to. Um, as you can read through the description, you can definitely see how this could potentially help defeat the powers of Madame Decibel. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to wrap up for the evening. Um, I want to thank you guys for coming. Thank you guys for playing. I hope you're having a good time. I hope you guys at home are having a good time watching. I'm having a blast uh, game mastering this for you guys. Um, it's It's been a lot of fun. You guys are a lot of fun. I hope it's not too silly for you. It's Gamma World. There's supposed to be some campiness. It's it's 80s post-apocalyptica. <laughs> <laughs> and so far, you have defeated a boss, fought the arcs, found one of the, the artifacts in question. You're doing amazing. The, the dice are on your side. And this has been great. So we will be back next Thursday to continue this adventure. Don't miss it. Be there or be square. Uh, keep in mind also, uh, Wednesday, we return back to the weird west out of the abyss. Saturday, we return to Sigil Confidential. <laughs> I always have to think about that one. <laughs> Be sure to join our Discord because we just opened up signups for the next one shot or short shot for next month, which is Star Trek Next Generation run by our very own Lord of Chance. So if you want to get involved, Join our Discord. We're going to have all kinds of giveaways, prizes, movie nights, games. There may even be a weenus calendar. And I know you guys want a weenus calendar because who doesn't love elbows? Right? Right? So don't right. miss it. So that, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to try and raid. But I'm going to go to our ending screen first. But hang in there so you can see whatever comes next. I think I'm going to hit TT2KB up just for old time's sake. So, with that said, sayonara, good fellows and good ladies and everything in between. Good night. <laughs>